So I had a bit of a fun day. Uh, I got up late because it was cold. I didn't want to get out of bed, and I finally got out of bed. And I went grocery shopping. I bought this chicken. It was kind of expensive. So last night, I opened my freezer, and Andrew had bought this spicy chicken burger. And there was two in there, and I didn't know he bought them, so I was going to eat them. But then we didn't have buns, so I didn't uh, I didn't eat them. But it turns out he did buy them, and he didn't buy buns either, so he's been eating his chicken burgers on white bread. Like, uh, you know. <laughs> but he said they were really good, and they looked good. So while I was in the... While I was there, I, I took a look in uh, the frozen aisle and I found the same brand, but instead of buying the spicy chicken burgers, they had mozzarella stuffed chicken breast. And I was like, you know, usually when you buy stuffed, you know, you buy you buy stuffed cheese, like it's not that, not that great. It's kind of expensive. There are only four pieces in it, but I said, whatever, I'll try it. So I bought it, I bought it, I just had it a little while ago. And it was very good. Thank you, Rikako, for the resub. It was actually like chicken breast, but no, I got, uh, let me put that. It was like eating a mozzarella stick, but the size was not a, uh, uh, it was the size of a chicken breast, but it was the same like feeling as a matzo stick. Cause you know, when you go out to eat chat and you want to order matzo sticks and you get like five of them and it's like, uh, super, uh, super, what do you call it? Like, they're expensive. It's not cheap. But this chicken breast, like, the, the mozzarella cheese in it had the same stringy, like, you know, it had, it was stringy, it was tasty. It, it felt like, it felt like I was eating a matzo stick in chicken breast form. It was so good. So that was a very, very good purchase, in my humble opinion. I enjoyed I very much enjoyed. It was very good. I right, so yeah, it's been my day. So I'm here, chat. We're gonna do some Mystia, obviously. Um, I have some. I I gotta open things up. I gotta open some things up. And what am I doing? I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk to Yam. And I want to talk to Yam and Orin because they have conversations with the Genso machine. But I also want to see if the Forest of Magic has one because that means if they do, then there's one in the uh, in the mountain as well. But it didn't exist just yet, is the thing. So okay, it's here. So if Alice doesn't want to talk about it, okay. So it's only it's only Orin and well, okay. It's only Orin and what do you call it? Yam. Orin and Yam. Orin and Yam. Okay. Hmm. Do I have to interact with the box first? No, I I shouldn't, cause I guess I'll try. But I know that there's a Genso beat in hell too. I applied for it. I heard everyone on the surface was playing some new Genso beat machine, music machine. Also, the residents of the Underworld could also apply, so I got one as soon as I could. Does the Underworld like music too? Of course, music isn't limited to a world of cult or culture. Especially since there's a leaderboard in the game. It's completely enticed the Underworld, and everyone's competing around the clock. The Underworld's always first in line for anything related to competition, huh? But my sense of rhythm isn't all that good, so I'm still getting the hang of it. Yeah, music is something you get better at with practice. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Let's work hard together. What a great kid. So yeah, chat. It's also I said it earlier, but today's Misty a day. When this gets uploaded, it won't be anymore. But this is this perfect day to play this game. I mean, there's really no bad day to play this game at all because this game is amazing. Finally got one. You playing this too? I'm just taking a stab at it. I won't ever get the hang of it, but by randomly pushing the buttons, I feel all my stress disappear, and you will relieve more stress if you hit the notes correctly. Really? And then I guess this is a decision well made. Story Sama must be accumulating tons of stress. I'm happy knowing the music will provide us some relief during downtime. I see. Did you have your mistress in mind when you applied for this machine, too? It's also, it gives the palace more entertainment. 
We may be in the underworld, but we spare no effort when it comes to the pet's entertainment. This really is a pet's paradise. Well, well, you did apply for the machine for Satori-sama's sake. She didn't have a lot of time for it. Be a waste to let it sit and collect dust, so feel free to use it whenever you want. Just be sure to give others their turn. Thanks a lot. Don't mind if I do then. Okay. Thank you, Cody, for the resub. Chat, sub number is at 189. Just in case anyone cared. It's pretty good. Okay, let me talk to the person next to the machine. Or let me talk to the machine. Where is it? Is it by Turbo? Or is it by Batchy? Oh. I'm not sure if I guess that we're playing hide and seek halfway through. Sounds about right. Should be by Patchy, right? Yeah. Okay, no, I can just boot up the machine. All right, let's play some. Uh, let's play some rhythm game, chat. Let's play some rhythm game. So I finished the Yokai Trail. So now we're moving on to the Human Village. Do I remember how to play this? I think so. D-pad. Yeah, D-pad is low notes. Hold for those, and then it's hold. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I like the slideshow you get for this. One. I earned those. Thank you, Pluto, for the 11 gifted. <laughs> let me... Let me just pop it open. Yep, it's... There it is. It's at 200. It's at 200. You win. Well. Nah. Now I have to figure that out, huh? I tried that before, by the way. The Law K Pattern Randomizer. That shit is hard. <laughs> so, uh, I will set that up in the future. This is good. No. No. That's right. Get bad. 10,000 points. Eat your heart out. Okay. There we go. All right. Parts of history, queue of customers, sea of people. Level one, huh? All right. All right, here we go. We gotta do it again. The goal is to Misty a sweep this board. Be number one on every, every single, uh, every single song on hard mode, not easy mode. Easy mode's for, yeah. Thank you, little big trouble for the gifting of sub as well.
Barbeck! <clears throat> okay, alright. The rhythm game in this is pretty nice. It's not too complex. It's a great excuse to listen to this game's music. Um, cause like, each, each like, uh, each part of the Izakaya has three separate tracks to it that it, like, goes into. So you can hear the full loop of the song before, like, properly. Cause they're pretty good before they pick up, but they pick up, they can kind of pick up really fast. So like, this is how it starts when you open for the first night. This is what your, like, your, your gauge gets about halfway full, and then about 75% of the way full, or like 80, 90, I can't even remember how much it takes to fill it. But basically, once it reaches this point, it's pretty much impossible to knock the vibe down to the, to this. So it's a good... The best part about it is that it flows really naturally into the next part. That's what's very impressive about this OST, is that each part of the song flows into the next, like, uh, the next verse version of it super, super well. But uh, you can hear, like, there, there are full songs. Like, they made full songs for each part, even if you only hear... Because it has to be ready to transition at any point, right? Very nice, very nice detail. So I'll do another one. My back hurts, chat. I got a pain in my back. Okay. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch Coco don't have like 99,000. No, okay. Coco sucks at this song. All right. 7,000 was second place. Didn't need a perfect for that one. All right, cool. All right, there you go. Secret Harvest Badge Gold, unlock the new song pack. Alright, now I have the shrine, but before I move on to the shrine music, which is honestly something my favorite. Let's, uh, let's progress, shall we? Let's go do some more, uh, more DLC 3. So yeah, chat, uh, what is even happening? So most of you saw the VOD for, uh, the VOD for the guests who, uh, stream is up now. I asked uh, Saurus if he wanted, if he could, and was able to do a thumbnail for it. 
and he delivered quite nicely, so I got that up. Uh, that'll be the same thumbnail for the remainder of the stream, though, because, you know, I figured I wanted to do something for it because it got to a point where it was like, Oh, I should probably like do something a little special for the thumbnail for this because I ended up getting a lot of attention to it more than I was expecting but because otherwise I would have had to I would have had to just post a picture of the gimp sheet with a bunch of little Jun stamps on it and I was like hmm I was like hmm that's not good so I wanted something special for that and he delivered and it went up and it's good a lot of reception to it positive reception to it People are ta talking about their, uh, you know, their submissions, if they came up. People are putting their own submissions in, which I really wish they had done on the farm. <laughs> uh, during the void of the day is also kind of training. Yes, can't wait until night falls. Last time I saw a ship flying to the air with my own eyes. I chased it for a while and saw it land around the temple. When I got there, there wasn't any trace of the treasure ship. Hmm. Kyoka learned all of it by herself without any help. Okay. Hmm. I want to see the most inconceivable firework. Could you possibly show up to my izakaya soon? So if I remember correctly, I have, uh... I have... Yeah. The biscuits and the baked sweet potato for Kogasa Murasa. So I should open up here to deal with that. But I think I can advance the progress for everyone at the Divine Spirit Mausoleum. The problem is I can't invite people until next bond level, so that's the issue I have with Nui not showing up. I like the contrast of the music between this area, like the Divine Spirit Mausoleum and the Myodan Temple, because the Myodan Temple is like, it's really relaxing, it's calm, it's not really in your face. It's, it's good, like it fits Biakradin, but then this theme when you walk in here is immediately more like, I wouldn't call it more like high energy necessarily, but you know, like when you, as soon as you walk in here, you're greeted by the music like instantly. There's no slow buildup, it's just, it, it, it pops in immediately and it inspires all. And that's exactly the kind of music you'd expect for a character like Miko. One that at first interaction, you can't help but look at her and be like, wow. That's what I like about the music. Now, obviously, I don't know anything about music theory or anything like that. This is just my unprofessional opinion. But I think the music contrast between the two areas works really well, and it matches the uh, it matches both Biakradin and Miko very, very well. We bummed into each other a few times now. Does the little sparrow want to become a hermit? <clears throat> no. Oh my, what a pity. How pathetic. Hmm, a yokai can become a hermit too. Of course, even an oni. Hey. As long as you put your heart into it, anyone can become a hermit. Oni, what happens when you become a hermit? You get to be immortal and live a life free of any worries. Free of worries, but I heard that hermits must endlessly train, otherwise their bodies would age rapidly. Instead of suffering like that, I'd stay. I'd rather stay a yokai. <laughs> so the life of a hermit sought after by everyone is just suffering to you. It is what it is. Becoming a hermit is hard and boring. I've met a few hermits and they're always reading the what's it called? Mantras? I don't get it at all. If you could live until the end of time just by reciting some mantras, would you pass up the opportunity? What's the point of having a longer life if you have to spend it all on boring things like that? You'd just be adding more boredom to your life. Why are you staring at me like that? Say, little sparrow. And you might have what it takes to become a great hermit. <laughs> Say what? Would you become my disciple? I can help, you know. Help me. Help you attain immortality. Rest assured, I know a lot of painless ways. No need. Good grief. It can't hurt to learn more, can it? You don't have to tell me. The ultimate goal in Taoism is to live forever, right? Hmm. Is that a bad thing? Hmm, I guess not. Of course not. For an average person, becoming a hermit is a long and treacherous journey. But, as a hermit who can pass through walls, creating shortcuts is a breeze for me. The shortcuts to becoming a hermit is simple. Just do what I say and go to sleep. When the time is ripe, wake up and you'll be able to become a hermit. What kind of wicked sorceress are you? It's wicked hermit. Get it right. In any case, it doesn't sound all that reliable. I believe she's referring to the Shikai Sen step that Miko, Futo, and Tojiko did. 
There's more than one type of hermit. The mausoleum saint was also resurrected with this method. Okay, it was that. See? May I present the Shikai-sen? By saint, you mean Miss Miko. Wasn't she asleep for a thousand years? Time flies when you're asleep. No, no, no. Me and Kyoko promised we'd then just become Shikai-sen together. Huh? But Kyoko is a Buddhist disciple. Can't find something more pretentious than that. I just have to give her a little whisper and convert her in a heartbeat. Kyoko would never do that. Oh dear, did that strike a nerve? I never wanted to become a hermit in the first place. I'd rather spend my time researching new dishes instead of wasting it on meaningless talks about immortality. <laughs> the temptation of immortality lost to a mere dish. How interesting. So like I said, we aren't in the same wavelength at all. Come now, no need to treat me as the enemy. If new dishes are what you desire, I can help with that as well. Huh? Do you have any honey and some spare chestnuts? Oh, uh, well, I do. Mind bringing them over? I'll teach you a little culinary magic trick. Then I'll be right back. Here you go. Chestnuts and honey. You came back after all. Try the honey chestnut. Wow, who'd have thought? You aren't messing with me, are you? Would I do that? Watch closely now. Oh, directly roasting the chestnuts and honey. This is a very simple dish. The chestnuts' mild and rich flavor can effectively balance out the external sweetness. Try one. Hmm, it's true. A honey-coated chestnut does have more flavor to it. If you train under me, I can teach you many more dishes. I'll think about it. Honeyed chestnut. Small, small portion specialty. The result of simmering chestnuts and honey, the chestnuts delicate yet. Rich flavor effectively balances out the sweetness. Mm. Immortality is like a villain's goal, you notice that? It's always villains that want immortality. It's never the good guys. Oh, good timing. Mission begin, berry sweet potatoes. Miss Fenj- <clears throat> Miss Tojiko. Something the matter? Seems like you're still pretty terrified of me as a vengeful spirit. It's fine, you can go. Um, yes? No, it's fine. Just, just tell me what you want. What a bashful little sparrow. You see, there's a favor I'd like to ask you. Hmm. A, spengel, a vengeful spirit asking a favor from a yokai. It's because the place in question is sensitive to folks like us. I don't know anyone else to ask. Oh, so what is this flavor? I buried some sweet potatoes in the cemetery of that yokai temple, but now an umbrella yokai has taken over that spot. Our fear with Buddhism goes back thousands of years. I don't want to make trouble for the crown prince just for some sweet potatoes. But I'm really craving them. Wh why? Why would you bury sweet potatoes in a cemetery? Do, a do people from ancient times have no common sense? The Baldies hadn't made their place their cemetery yet when I buried them. If we go by order of arrival, I'm the one whom they, that place belongs to. What does that mean? Beneath that yokai temple lies a giant structure, the Hall of Dreams Great Mausoleum. That cemetery was originally the entrance to the Great Mausoleum. Why did you build the mausoleum underground? We didn't build it underground. This happened 1400 years ago. After the Crown Prince became a Shikai-sen, she slept in the Great Mausoleum waiting to be revived. But unexpectedly, Buddhism dominated the country for more than a thousand years. Monks used the power of Buddhism to keep the Great Mausoleum sealed, denying the Crown Prince her resurrection. And so the only thing she could do was sleep. It's quite a long nap. Afterwards, as time passed, people started to spread vile rumors like, The Crown Prince's existence and achievements were all made up. But that was precisely what we wanted. The Crown Prince seized the opportunity to move the Great Mausoleum to Gensokyo. This is all accurate, by the way, if, if you didn't know. I say, I say this a lot, but this game is very good character introduction, and it's like 99% of the time, it's it's lore accurate. This is actually the story of Miko right here. Like, well, maybe not all of it, but this is actually how the mausoleum ended up in Gensokyo. What what so what Tojiko was talking about right now was 100% canon. In other words, you were already in Gensokyo before the Yokai Temple, uh, Myoren Temple was built. Correct. There wasn't a single temple in Gensokyo back then. Unsealed, the Crown Prince could revive in Gensokyo at any time, but. Just before the advent of a resurrection, that demonic priestess built her temple right on top of the Great Mausoleum. Huh. That does sound like too big of a coincidence. After the Crown Prince was revived, she moved this place, which has been sealed... Which has been, which had been inside the Great Mausoleum, to her own world of Senkai. The Divine Spirit Mausoleum was rebuilt, but the Great Mausoleum still retains the entrance to it. 
So that's why there's a cave leading to Senkai in the temple cemetery. Now I get it. That's how it is. Hey, why are you just digging for information? You helping or not? Huh? Help with what? Help me retrieve the sweet potatoes buried at the Yokai Temple Cemetery. Oh, now I remember. That's a piece of cake. Hmm, so? I'll help you get them right now. Splendid, I'll share with you some of the candied sweet potatoes I made when you get back. Awesome. Here you go. There you go. That was quick. Let me see. Oh, these aren't the sweet potatoes I buried. Huh? That's not it? Well, it's fine. Maybe I just remembered wrongly. Thanks anyways. Wait a moment. I'll give you some of my candy sweet potatoes when they're done. You're welcome. Candy sweet potatoes are good stuff. I'll sell them some in my shop too. That'd be great. Senkai doesn't have any suitable place to plant sweet potatoes. I was actually racking my brains over it. Then you're welcome to come to my izakaya anytime. Sure thing. Candied sweet potatoes. Oh. Oh, it got weird. There we go. Deep fry sweet potatoes until golden brown and coat them in a layer of sugar. Then serve after rolling on a greased plate. A delicious snack that won't get stuck in your teeth. Don't get greedy. Eating too much will upset your stomach. God, that sounds good. Alright. Cool. Hmm. What are these? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what this is. I feel like I see a shape in it, but it also feels like it's just... It's just whatevered. Alright, Futo. You. Your. Yours. Barrier Shikigami Calculators. What are you doing, Miss Futo? I am acquainting. No. Learning about the modern world. The modern world. The crown prince saith, says I am too disconnected from modern times. She's trying to correct her speech now. To better integrate with such environments, it is imperative I study the common knowledge of Gensokyo. I see. Did you know there's a school in the human village? You should be able to study there. I did, st did go there, but I was kicked out. Eh? It pains me to say, but... Ah. Were you kicked out for being too slow to keep up with the other children? Nay, twas manageable. Something of that level, uh, albeit barely. Why would they kick you out then? Alas, to speak the truth, I was quite welcome there. I hath made friends with the children very quickly. Very proud about that. Good for you. After befriending them, I hath brought them to start some fires. <laughs> and, wait, wait, wait. Did you skip something? Why are you suddenly starting fires? Every scholar dreams of burning down their place of study. Tis common sense, is it not? Huh? Really? For most, such thoughts remain only in fantasy, yet as one skilled in the arts of fire... Uh, no matter how you put it, starting fires with children is a bit... If thou hadst the hobby thee like, thou wouldst want to share it with friends, correct? Such common sense is timeless, I believe. Well, I guess that's true. Therefore, I lit the smallest of flames at the school that day, yet I was discovered. Kane sensei is a very generous teacher. As long as it isn't anything serious, the consequences shouldn't be dire, provided it wasn't a full moon night. Twas indeed a full moon night! To think that on such an alluring night she wouldst be grading papers within the school. What? Huh? What's wrong with that? Couldst thou imagine an enraged half-beast dashing through the flames? Such a Magrabe sight. The children were all terrified. So, so what happened after that? Nightmares and sleepless nights plagued the children for many moons. Their parentals complained to even the crown prince. I understand not, tis not me who scared the children. You're even blaming Kane sensei now. In short, the crown prince saith I lack common sense and further stays with humans would upset the reputation of hermits. That was a roller coaster of a story. Therefore, thereafter, I was called back. Oh, Miss Miko doesn't have it easy either. Nor I. I must rely on self-learning now. Even as I wade through the river between past and present, the common sense of Gensokyo is entirely another beast. Don't look so down. I know. Since you've been start so hard working, why don't I treat you to something tasty? Very well. Allow me to thank thee in advance. What do you want, champ? 
Uh, give a strength boosting cuisine. Okay. I can do that. Let me just do that. Let me do it, let me do it, I got it. Uh, I have to go home first. Alright. That was a very fun story. <laughs> it was a ride the whole way through. Uh, where's my power soup? I'll give her some power soup. That's strength boosting. You just wanted one, right? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Alright, now to return. Hold on, chat. I like this cake outfit. It's great and all, but I gotta be real with ya. It's not my favorite. My favorite is the PJs. There we go. This is the best outfit in the game. <laughs> Let me talk to Regal. There's one thing about this game that can get to be a bit of a pain in the ass. And that is some of the most basic ingredients aren't uh, farmable as easily as others, which is very confusing to me. Things like lamprey and trout, you can't just buy them in bulk. You have to find them. And Riggle's really good at that because she'll grab a ton of them in the area for you. Alright, go back. Premium ingredients are so easy to get your hands on once you reach a certain point in the game. But it's never easy to get more lamprey, even though it's your signature dish. <laughs> Such a dish fills me with motivation. Now you can pull yourself together and work hard. But as a Taoist, surely there are dishes better fitting. A dish fit for a Taoist. Indeed, there doth exist a Taoist master with the surname... Oh, God. I was told about this. When I was... When when uh, when real a... Uh, when he messaged me and said this was done, he said, Good luck pronouncing all the Chinese names. Fucker. <laughs> Surname Q. He lived a life of solitary in the mountains. They say he wore pine flowers and ate pine nuts, drank pine breeze besides pine creeks. <clears throat> pine what? It means master, master Q. Hath a life of hardship, subsisting only on pine nuts, keeping company only by wind and trees. Only pine nuts? That sounds so sad. They wouldn't make a good dish at all. Nay! Oh, bang! Uh. Oh god. Kale? Ben Kale? Ben Kale? Ben Chap? Oh god. Kale? Ben Kale Gangmu. Oh fucking Jesus, dude. States long term consumption of pine nuts better one's lifespan. C-A-O is like Sao or Zao. Sao, Zao. Beng Zao, Gong, oh, see, like what? I don't know, man, I am, I am North American. How the fuck could I ever know to pronounce that? <laughs> Hence, we Daoists believe is such a beneficial health supplement. I keep cycling between calling them Taoists and Daoists. I think I'm just gonna stick with T because that's what I know. Dynasty Warriors used to get Zad cow cow. See, I said it like that. It looks like cow. Sao Sao wrong. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In days of your Taoist priest would just prepare it for fasting with such nutritious nuts. So that's how it is. Since that's, that's good, let me try making some little dishes with it too. Good, if that works, comes to fruition, it shall surely save our disciples much work. Actually, chat. Um, let me pull something up. I actually have this saved this time because I talked about it before. I talked about it before, but there is a... It was in Sengetsu Say. It was mentioned in Sengetsu Say. It was in a translator's note. About, uh... Let me pull it up. Hold on. I got a lot of bookmarks in here. I bookmark things that are relevant to videos and then I don't unbookmark them, so I just have an absolute sheet of shit. Uh, hold on. It's one of these. This one, this one, this one. This one. Soku Shinbutsu. That's what this is. Okay. Shoku Shinbutsu. 
For 1,000 days, a little less than three years, the priests would eat a special diet consisting only of nuts and seeds while taking part in a regimen of rigorous physical activity that stripped them of their body fat. Pretty sure this is a Buddhism thing, not a, not a Taoism thing. They then ate only bark and roots for another thousand days and began drinking a poisonous tea made from the sap of the Udushi tree, normally used to liqueur bowls. This caused vomiting and a rapid loss of bodily fluids, and most importantly, it made the body too poisonous to be eaten by maggots. Finally, a self-mummifying monk would lock himself in a stone tomb, barely larger than his body, where he would not move from the lotus position. His only connection to the outside world was an air tube and a bell. Each day he rang a bell to let those outside know that he was still alive. When the bell stopped ringing, the tube was removed and the tomb sealed. After the tomb was sealed, the other monks in the temple would wait another 1,000 days and open the tomb to see if the mummification was successful. If the monk had been successfully mummified, they were immediately seen as a Buddha and put in the temple for viewing. Usually though, there was just a decomposed body. Although they were not viewed as a true Buddha if they were not mummified, they were still admired and revered for their dedication and spirit. Can you fucking believe that? Can you believe that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's... That's pretty hardcore. I gotta say, that's pretty hardcore. Take the 3,000 uh, day Buddha challenge. <laughs> All right. Pine nut cake. A medicinal dish made with glu uh, glutinous rice as a main ingredient. Uh, and pine as a supplement. The powder of the pine nut cake is soft and delicate and delicious. In addition to refreshing pine nut flavor, a favorite among Taoist priests. Okay. That is extremely metal. But I'm, like, I think it's pretty fair to say, Chad, that if you, like, trying that is not a good idea. You know what I mean? Alright, let's open up at, uh, oh, I should check with Chen tomorrow to see if I can open up a greater, uh, thing. So let's open up Myodan Temple. We need to get Nue to sit down, and we need to get Kogasa and, um... Kogatsu Murasa. So it was the... They're both grill, okay. So candy sweet potato was Tojiko. Honey chestnut was Sega's. And pine nut cake. Okay, so baked sweet potato is Kogasa's. <clears throat> and the biscuits are Murasa. So I need a grill. I need a grill. So let's put lion's head. Sure, I don't even know what the ingredients are for that, but I can make a lot of them. The people around here seem to like this stuff, so it works for me. Also, somebody told me, chat, that, uh, somebody told me that it was an Easter egg. That if you give Koishi her hat cake, she will automatically hate it no matter what. Somebody told me that was an Easter egg. Because her hat is her friend. I don't know if that's true or not, but it is definitely weird that she, like, this- She got this to eat and she just hated it. <laughs> that was kind of weird, so maybe- maybe it was, a uh, maybe it was intentional. An intentional Easter egg. I need grill. A grill and cutting board. Hmm. See, I can't make enough lamprey. Energy skewer. I want a mushroom skewer. And. Uh, steak sauce. Choice cuts. Pickles. Crab. I want another grill item. No, you know what? I don't need another grill item. That's amazing. Nobody's gonna order that, so I'll put it on there anyway. Oh, waitor. Oh, waitor. Okay. Komeji ice cream. I gotta... Duende the numbers a little bit, you know. You know how it goes. Boiling pot. Cutting board. 
grill. Okay. Looks good to me. Let's open up. Hmm. Yeah. And now we sit back and we relax as they take the orders for me. The Sparrow Pajamas... The Sparrow Pajamas are... is easily the best outfit in the game. You can disagree if you want, but this is, uh, easily my favorite outfit. It's so nice. I get the Sparrow onesie. The other outfits, though, are very nice. There's no bad outfit in this game. I really like the, the, the Miko outfit as well. Because it's it's just Rainbow's outfit, but the color's faded because it's old, so it's pink and it matches her. That one's also a phenomenal outfit. But I... Oh, there, there she is. Nuhuju. What are you gonna learn today? Alright. We take the orders. We make the orders. Alright. This is the first time Nue has shown up. So, like, I have, uh... Progress with her has been done solely by... Talking to her, which is almost actually hit. Hmm. Actually, I need to see. Was this corrected? Uh, think about it when a human has just passed away when they've completely had a loss. They could meet the cheerful and talkative Orin during the journey to the other side. Maybe they mitigate some of their fears brought to death. Black had a bad omen. She lived in the prejudice, so she had thought to charge this prejudice really awful. Good thing Orin met Miss Satori. Having a good owner can really change a pet's life. I wish Orin can continue living a carefree life of stealing corpses. Hell Raven. Guy in the remains of blazing hell with enthusiasm that burns like the flames of hell. She looks a bit different from other hell ravens. The only thing that makes it cl feel close to her is, is our empty heads. The re so the reason why Oku appears so out of place is because her body houses the divine spirit Yadagarasu, the raven born from hell's dark, and the divine spirit perched by the sun. It was an amazing combination, but is it really okay for someone like her to have such an immense power? Recently, I suddenly felt there wasn't any more suitable than Oku to possess this power. For having such an immense power, but not the brains required to use it when you can do that lucky break, right? The empty-headed Oku is really cute. I often get called empty-headed too, though. There's no way to stop the scrolling. I have to speed read. <laughs> okay, yeah, and the last uh, DLC, uh, for some reason, Orin's text, like, was in the place of Utsos for some reason, so that wasn't there. No game needs to be played. You know what? Good song. Good song. I'll do a little bit of work here since I can't rely on Komachi. She takes no uh, money. Because, you know, even though I have as much as I do, I'm cheap as fuck, apparently. Alright, that's Kogasa. The problem is she doesn't haul ass, so I don't, uh, like, the line doesn't move. But honestly, it's fine. I don't really care if the line moves that much. Getting hyper mode would be nice as well, so I can get things rolling. Hmm. Alright, new AS sat down. She has a budget of 396. Catch. It's like a brick, but instead of a brick, it's sushi. Savory and heatable. I've had enough rotten meat in the past, thank you very much. That's just great. Something savory and something heatable. Well... Heatable's easy. Okay. Savory. Let's give her ten tonkatsu, you know? Seaweed. Not boar meat. It was beef, right? What was it? the heck was it? Uh, it's the classic one that I give Rinosuke. Uh, tonkatsu ramen. Pork- oh, it was egg and- okay. Pork, egg, and seaweed. Seaweed. Pork. Egg. And put an onion in it to make it savory. testing the waters. It's okay to be wrong, because no matter what, this will hit uh, to the next ranks, and I can just try and hit as many tags as possible. Perfect. She likes meat. 
Delight, Tall Hall, RGB. Oh, I think Satori did that before. GGG. Dishes don't use up ingredients and serve beverages are returned. Oh, it's like Mirror, but DLC'd. Shochu. Yeah, it's like uh, Kane's Mirror. But it affects drinks as well. Primo DLC ma uh, move right there. Tonkatsu ramen sounds good right about now. Although I, that chicken I had, I have more. I'm probably having that tonight, honestly. Eat the whole box. It was so good. Come on, come on. Catch. RGB. Blue ones. Money gain increases to 200%. Holy shit, Nue. Citrus can wait, but not meat. And a neat beverage. You know what's neat? Milk. You could use some milk. Uh. Well. Sounds like I'm gonna give her tonkatsu ramen with an onion again. <laughs> I should experiment more, but this is kind of nice to know that this is working so well. There you go. What? That's strange. Huh? Why did that not hit this time? Signature and vintage. Even your best signature just needs some change to be good and vintage. It should be my, uh, JT, right? Oh, the wine works. Um, signature is savory. This can't be meat, though. That's a problem. Hmm. Can I make a signature dish? With, uh, also add meat to it. Signature is anything that uses lamprey, I believe. Oh, lion's head counts as signature. Meat, savory, signature, good- wow. Okay. I'm gonna give her- I'm gonna put a cicada shell in it and see if she likes that. <laughs> this line is huge. There you go. They like strange and specialty. Okay. There's the blue ones again. Burn through all my savings from the Hagen area. A era. Alright, Kogasa's here. Uh, so Kogasa, I need to give her the... Baked sweet potato, yep. Sweet potato on a grill. Okay. Likes wonderful food. Wonderful is also a feeling of surprise. Sweet, strength boosting, strange, wonderful. Hmm. Sweet. Strength. I can't add strength boosting. I can add strange. And I can add wonderful. The greatest sweet potato of our time. And a fruity beverage. Here you go. I am going to exhaust your budget instantly. Likes home cooking and filling. Okay. Oh, Squishy's here, but there's no way she's getting there in time. Oh, you still want to eat? Mid alcohol. Food that surprises you is pretty interesting, isn't it? She's referring to Strange of Ken. Alright, so the sweet potato does wonders here. And I can put a you dumb baka in there as well. Alright. And a mid beverage. Hmm. She can afford that. Here you go. Consume. That was all was given to me by the kids. She gets an allowance from the kids? Oh, man. Oh, uh, well, here's here's Miss Moneybags with 1300 Marissa is visiting the temple. Okay, see you later, Marissa. <laughs> Dreamy and dry. Yeah, I know what you want. You want this, and I put a fish in it, and we're, like, 
were square. Hmm. Dry. Here you go, idiot. Scatter! Sweet meat. Alright. The fact that my, like, premium high-tier ingredients are the ones I have the most of. Good thing food doesn't spoil in this game, huh? Sweet beverage. Do I have something that's sweet that is going to make you leave sooner? Not really. Oh, wait, that. Yeah. Here, catch. Hmm. There was no time. Sweet and dry. You can't afford this anymore. Hmm. Here. I'll give you a sweet. Take a slab of beef in it. Job is done. You can leave now. I've exhausted your budget. I like that when you look at the money in this game. Her, her, uh, it's like one yen. That's nothing. One yen is nothing. Astronomically low. And like 400 yen is not that much either. But you know, if you if you try to equate this to real numbers, I guess you'd have to add like two more zeros to everything, maybe. Maybe two more zeros, maybe only one. I think it depends. Probably only one. A baked sweet potato for 25. I mean, obviously you wouldn't pay you wouldn't pay 2,500 yen for that, right? But 250 yen for a bake? Is that, like, is that, is that accurate? I don't know the price of those things. Call the merchant. Call everybody. Buy everything. Thank you. I can afford it, so I'm going to do it. It's a refresh of ingredients right there. Collect. And gather. Don't worry, my money is, like, Impossible to put a, a like any uh, anything into. You can't you can't dent my cash. My cash flow is too high. All right, thank you, Kitty, for gifting two subs. We are over two hundred. We are over the two hundred. So I have to do a pattern randomizer for Lol K. I will do my best. It'll be on easy mode, obviously. If you don't know what that is, uh, I did it before. I I I, I checked it out before. But it's basically just every enemy, like, fires their pattern, but it's a pattern from something else. Like, it's random. So sometimes you get a pattern that's just stupid. But, you know, we're gonna try and beat the game under those conditions. <laughs> but it's gonna be on easy mode. It's hard. It's really hard. Because sometimes you just get shit, uh, shit luck. And I'll be saving my bombs for, uh... I will be saving my bombs for the most important parts. Miss Nua uses her race, uh, her- Miss Nua uses her race as, as her name, okay, which means you're very fond of your race, right? Because if I did, no one would know I'm a Nua. Really? <laughs> Mom- Did Mamizo get some clueless bird brain like you to make us laugh? You know Miss Mamizo? More than that, I know you're working together be behind everyone's backs. Haha, <laughs> don't start panicking now, you still gotta put on a good show for me. Aren't you one of the Mjolnir Temple's disciples? But of course. However, they won't let me participate in the competition anyhow. So you can't blame me for having some fun, right? Eh? You know who's going to represent Mjolnir Temple in the competition? You're not getting anything from me. Turning a blind eye is the most I'm doing for Mamizo. Besides, I really don't know anything. But you know for certain you wouldn't be competing. See, those guys never let me join in on anything fun. Those guys? The whole temple. You mean, you're being ostracized? Come to think of it, you do seem to be by yourself most of the time. What, you gonna say I have no friends too? Huh? Not at all. 
It's just, I don't think everyone is really... I gave Biakunin a whole lot of headaches, so people are justified in not accepting me. The hell I'm telling a bird brain like you for? Sorry, if you don't mind, I can be your friend. I just said I don't know nothing about the competition, and my lips are sealed anyhow, so... I'm not digging for information. I really just want to be friends. You pull on my leg? You know I go all the way back to the hay and air, yeah? Small bird like you. One can't become friends overnight. Let's just take our time. That reminds me. A while back, I saw you outside the temple all by yourself. I think you were eating fog. Isn't that something Taoist hermits eat during cultivation? You can't eat that. If you really have nothing to eat, I can... Don't get ahead of yourself. I'm not that pathetic. That's no fog. That's my specialty cotton candy. Cotton candy? Myodan Temple has a disciple called Unzan who's a shape-shifting Yudu. You have Unzan cotton candy? His face just screams cotton candy. Here's the kicker. He's actually a stubborn and all too serious grandpa. So I thought, wouldn't it be the funniest thing if I turned his likeness, likeliness into sweet and fluffy cotton candy? So it's a prank? It's not good to waste food, you know. I'm not wasting food. You have tried cotton candy before, right? Could something as weightless as that really satisfy someone? Man, you sure you're a chef? That's a super popular snack in the outside world. Eh? Hmm, wanna learn it? You're willing to teach me? I'd really love to see that old grandpa's face when he finds out about Unzan cotton candy. But I can't just walk up to him and flail around. If you could put it on your shop's menu for me, it'll be more than I'd be more than willing to teach ya. I understand. Your motives aren't pure, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem, right? I don't have a habit of storing food, so if you're taking up my offer, go prepare some ingredients. Understood. Okay. Give ten peaches. Peach cobbler! Since the ingredients have been prepared, let's start. Pranking the old man. Don't blink now. Burn this into your memory and sell it to all your customers. Then you'll be able to enjoy Unzan's face as he realizes he's been turned into cotton candy. So you're using me to do your dirty work. You want it or not? I do! <laughs> Among Myodan Temple's disciples is a shape-shifting Yudu whose face easily reminds one of cotton candy. A sweet but not too sweet cotton candy with added peach juice. Its interesting shape makes it very popular with kids. <laughs> now I have to get her to try it, but that'll come, that'll come later on. <laughs> Grabbing the stuff. Right, Marasa didn't show up. Ah, oh, shit. Kogasa did, though. So now Marasa and New A are tied up. Give me your sweet potatoes. Fifteen of them things. How was it? My baked sweet potatoes were delicious, right? Yep, thanks for the treat. You don't have to eat them like you're out for blood in the future. Just have some of my shop. No can do. Digging, collecting twigs and leaves, starting the fire itself, they're all very interesting games. Well, I guess that's... Th there's that, too. Huh? You dig ditches here to bake sweet potatoes? So? Isn't that a cemetery? And? Who would bake sweet potatoes next to a dead body? Well... Congratulations, Kogasa. You are scaring Mistia pretty hard here. <laughs> would you like to come to my food place? The temple at night has been getting livelier and livelier. Is that a bad thing? But the hustle and bustle is in other places. No one comes to the cemetery. If you stay here all the time, you'll be wasting such a, a lively night. Drop by if you can't scare anyone. My shop is very lively, too. What if someone comes the moment I leave? That'd be too big of a coincidence. Spooks are what happen when preparation meets opportunity. And I have a feeling that tonight I'll definitely be able to scare someone. Alright, uh, best of luck then. When I first came to the cemetery, it was guarded by some weirdo with tra very strange movements. A guard in the cemetery? Oh, I know. It's to prevent the underworld's cats from stealing corpses, right? No, no. That guard acted like the cemetery belonged to her. No one was allowed to enter. I merely wanted to negotiate, and she just beat me up. She was really strong, come to think of it. But I've come here so many times already, and I haven't seen her once? She suddenly disappeared one day. I think some wicked hermit took her away. Isn't that great? Now you don't have to squabble over territory anymore. Hmm, that's true. But occasionally hearing her trip over herself reciting poems to the moon helped me sleep pretty well. Come to my shop the next time you can't fall asleep. Yeah, so if you didn't know, chat, Yoshka was in the graveyard to begin with. So, like, she was just there. 
Oren can talk to her, apparently. I mean, she can talk, but Oren could actually talk to her. Because she's a corpse. But she was just kind of there, and nobody knew why. And then uh, Oren was employed to uh, talk to her to figure out what she was there for. It's in one of the written works. I forget who wrote about it. It was Aya Hertate, but... Point is, she was there protecting the cemetery. Because, as you know, the cemetery was the entrance to the mausoleum. And then once this was all taken care of and said and done, I guess Sage pulled her back. Hmm. Give me your shrimp. Give me your best shrimp. I got her. Top corner is lamprey. All right, I think I talked to everybody. Yep. Everybody has been talked to, so we can just move on. We're gonna open it to the mausoleum this time. Okay. I forgot to talk to Chen. God damn it. All right, that's fine. I'll chat Chen tomorrow. <laughs> Chen tomorrow. All right, so I need a... Uh... I need... I need a steamer, a cutting board, and the frying pan for today. Steamer, cutting board, and frying pan. This is gonna be weird. I can't use the pot. Cutting board. Frying pan. Cutting board. Putting the eggs on the menu. Fried cicada. I'm putting the weird shit on. This is gonna be a profitless night. Stinky tofu. Throw that on. Hmm. Classic steak. So many frying pans. Scones? Yeah, it's fine. No one's gonna order the half of the frying dip pan ones anyway, so... It doesn't even matter. Now I just have to... Dip into my... Supply. Okay. Alright. Frying pan. Steamer. Cutting board. I am ready. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Time to run circles around this rabbit. The mix of desire drive in this is quite good. How do you have 80 money anyway? She wants komeji ice cream and a potato. That sounds nice. Chat, have you ever had deep fried ice cream? That's what that made me think of. It's actually really good. Well, an egg buyer. Yeah, it's a it's a real thing. It's like uh, it's it's ice cream inside like a uh, like I don't even know what it's inside necessarily, but it's uh it's called deep fried ice cream. So you pierce like the the fried stuff and then there's ice cream inside. It's really good. It's really good. It's a good dessert. I just don't really understand how it works, so I can't explain it any better than that. I just know that that's what it's called. And, like, when you get it, like, just imagine a scoop of ice cream, but it's, like, fried. You know, like, it's like, it's like looking at fried chicken or something, but then there's ice cream inside it. It works surprisingly well. Yeah, it's in batter. That's what, it, that's the word I was looking for. Ice cream inside batter that gets fried, and it, it, it works surprisingly well. Give me the most expensive thing you got in high alcohol. Alright, Tenshi can have the Godfather. Uh, Tenshi wants expensive, right? What do I have that's expensive? Squishy's here. I have an idea for expensive. Oh, uh, what was it? Yep. Hmm. I can't give her the hat again. I did it the first time and she hated it. She said it was... She refused to eat it. Alright, that's fine. She didn't like meat or greasy. It's okay. 
her ability wasn't going to be that helpful anyway. The quicker she left, the more rooms that are open for the important characters to show up. How you doing, champ? Daze is here. Hmm. You know, chat, I never really thought about it. But I have to wonder, like, what would be the what what would be the best dish on Mystia's uh, menu? What would it be? I'd love to try the signature, because obviously it's that's it's the signature dish. But I have to wonder what would be like what would be the best food she would have. I think the the curry looks good. Like the, and the mabu tofu looks good. I've always wanted to try mabu tofu. Ever since I watched Angel Beats, of course. Uh, there's a substance which tastes salty. I think it's called sweat in a bitter beverage. Alright. Salty, huh? You're a special guest. Sweet, dreamy, salty, and raw. Hmm. Do egg, honey, tofu. And add salt to it. Pop. Power up! I want soda. Substance that tastes salty. I think it's called sweat. Okay. Do honey, egg. Yeah. This Kadama ice cream is such a powerful recipe. There's no way you're ordering the cicada slews, right, my guy? Well, that's fine. Stinky tofu as well? Dude! They're ordering all the weird shit! There's a substance- Why do you keep- what is wrong with you, Koichi? <laughs> she just keeps asking for more salt. I'm more of a pepper guy myself. Shochu. Oh, not you. Older, legendary, chillable. I don't have a boiling pot. Uh, Alright. Bitter. Okay. Koishi gets the Godfather. What a powerful name for a drink. Scotch whiskey amaretto. It's so strong that even the average yokai cannot handle it. Meanwhile, Koichi's gonna gulp that shit. Is there anything else I have to know about eating things raw? Okay. Well. Just put a raw egg on it. Okay. You know, it's funny, the reason Marissa's ability is so, like, weak compared to other DLC characters is because she's, like, in the base game, but you have to go to the DLC area to actually progress her storyline. Japanese food, low alcohol. Okay. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case, only because I had DLC 1 already installed. So... I assume she was just, like, a rare guest and then she got properly turned into a character. That makes the most sense to me. Uh, you need to go. You need to go. You need to go. You need to go. Oh my god, you need to go. Go! Get out of my shop! 
There's no time! No! Damn it. Alright. Okay. Komachi is coming off the, the roster. Japanese food, chillable. You're killing me, dude. Reminder, self-reminder, find Chen. Seek out Chen. Destroy Chen. Chillable. Okay, I'm not trying to destroy her. The line does not move fast enough with Komachi behind the wheel. This guy's got $16 to his name. Chillable Japanese. I usually give her the Shirayuki, but I do not have that ability to do so. Just gotta be uh, careful. Because if she orders, um... If she orders greasy, then I just don't know what to do with her. And obviously I can't... I can't spend her entire budget because she just came in with 3,000 money. Boop. Japanese chillable. I'm really trying to, like, destroy your bank account. Also, the fact that Marissa has down five of these full moons Eve... What is this girl made of? How much alcohol could she actually keep down? You're free to leave now. Thank you. She refunded all my truffles. Excellent. Oh, there you go. And I've learned an important lesson for today. And that is... Take Komachi off the roster because she's not fast. She's free, but she's not fast. <laughs> and I don't need free. Gotta talk to Chen. Gotta talk to Chen. Okay. Tell me, Chen. Concert, chat. Still nothing yet? Still have to wait for that? Surely some, at some point in time, I'll get that mission, right? It's not active yet, though. Can never have too much of a good thing. Okay. So my next plan of attack, uh, I have to go back to the mausoleum, obviously. Um, but I am going to do another round of, of a rhythm game here. Yahakure Shrine. Wonderful news. Here we go. I am ready.
Right, so as long as we get top of the board, we're fine. Why was Sanai number one for the for, for Reimu song? Hmm? There's only four entries on this. What? I can't believe it. Nobody played Reimu's theme. Not even Reimu played Reimu's theme. It's alright, because the... Here we go. I love the I love this part of the song, the second verse. The yellow notes, you just have to hold the button. It's not pressing. Trust me, it's... It, it looks bad, but you just hold the button. <laughs> you just hold the button, so... When, when you hold the button, you can just focus entirely on the line above or below it. If I had to alternate, like, the button tapping like that, then yeah, that'd be pretty rough. But you can do that. You can do that. If you press the button on that note, it counts as uh, hitting it, but you only have to hold the button as long as it passes through and it's okay. Once again, cleaned up. So you can make it harder on yourself if you want by tapping the button to each yellow note, but you only have to hold it for uh, proper. All right, and this one, which is level three. Okay. I forgot what I was doing, but we're not taking, we're not holding that L.
Oh, all right. That I got mixed up a few times in there for sure. Does it beat Sanai? Oh, it does. Okay, she performed a little bit better this time. <laughs> but okay. Scott Devil Mansion. Lone Frugality Badge. Alright. That's available for next time. Yeah, the Hakode Shrine... The Hakode Shrine music is easily my favorite in this game. Especially the second verse. Super good. I like these little bastards. I love these little bastards. It's just a shame that I do not get anything out of their game personally. Because the translation is a borderline indecipherable and I'm not there for the gameplay. What a shame. Alright. Stop by Mjolnir. Opening the Divine Spirit Mausoleum again. And I am taking... I am taking Komachi off of uh, the roster. So I still need to give you your things. Talking to you doesn't do anything. Maras as well, but I can't invite them. I can't ever try to invite Kogasa. Boo! Nope. I'm so hungry. Do you want me to cook something? It's no use. Food only makes my mouth happy. To fill my stomach, I still have to rely on surprise. So you're a yokai who uses surprise to sustain yourself. Not starving to death until today must have not been easy. <laughs> Hustle and bustle, drop by. What if someone comes the moment I leave? That'd be too big of a coincidence. Spooks about half of my- okay. Didn't get it. It's fine. Let me get some uh, lotus seeds while I'm here though. Not a bad idea to fill up on things. Okay. Yeah, Kogasa gets her sustenance from scaring people, not eating them. But... Well, she can eat regular food, too. But uh, if she doesn't scare anybody at all, then, you know. Somebody, somebody please. But then that raises the question, chat. What happens if you pretend to be scared? If you pretend to be scared and she still thinks she scared you, then she, you know, it counts as energy for her, right? So how does that actually, does that, like, work when you think about that? How does it work? Hmm. And so if you should mint coinage bearing the saint's likeness, only then shall we always have the saint in our hearts. I think I've seen those kinds of paper bills before, but no one's using them. Maybe more people would use it if they had the Hakode Shrine made in space. Miko's on the 10,000. Hmm. The Crown Prince! Okay. It's just weird. Okay. No, Kyoko waitress. Yeah. Assistant cook. Movement speed slow, work speed medium. Immediately finishes cooking. 15% chance for cooking dark matter. Oh, she's on there. <laughs> she's on there. 15%, I like those odds. Okay. Uh, well, time to put the weird shit back on. It actually kind of sold. And I don't really care if, uh, it gets, like, turned to dark matter. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it all to her. Scones. A flaming yacht. Uh, where's the eggs? Where's the eggs and the cicada snoops? Alright. And ice cream. Wine. It just doesn't sell, dude. Hey. Pan. Steamer cutting board. Let's hope this works out. <sighs> There she is. <laughs> Don't worry, she moves like that too. Although I seem to recall her affecting everybody. <laughs> Successful! 
Okay, so she cooks food instantly, but then, um... <laughs> but I can turn the dark matter, so she has to try again. Do runny eggs. Good thing this game doesn't have a concept uh, of expiration dates or shelf life or anything like that. Or it'd be hard to stock ingredients. You'd have to make sure you have every ingredient on the day that you you know you do it. And they'd have to hold for a little bit. Successful. Hey, what's the matter with you? Underworld and the sea better are actually connected, right? Oh god, what was it? Honey flower Motherfucker, I don't remember what it was Trout Okay, it wasn't honey Do it was do Okay Stick a cicada in it call it a day Hmm Okay. Today on Kitchen Nightmares, we're heading to this quaint little izakaya out in no, uh, no man's land. Five stars. Five stars right away, instantly. Eat faster, damn it. Strange things. Uh, I've already forgotten. Trout. She likes sweet things, right? I think honey actually worked here. Okay. Oh, God. What was that, sake? Hmm. Sure. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. See how much quicker the music changed because Komachi isn't here? <laughs> how much dark matter you got stored in there, Hina? The embodiment of failures. Bacteria grows on rotten food, so it's gotta be fresh. Fresh beans, savory. Sing a song. Fruity. Any day, any day you want to leave. Success. All right, there's Futo. Fish fruity. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chillable mushrooms. Chillable means get out of my, get out of my store. Okay. New. You're telling me this grilled lamprey is grilled? Yes, chef. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Today on Kitchen Nightmares, the, the Skinner residence. Heat from the mini Harkado pumps me up every time I launch a spell card. I can't make food hot. It has to be hot. Whatever. Have a steak with a mushroom, you stupid idiot. Toji goes here as well. There's half time left. What? She loved it. Never mind. I'm a genius. Okay, let's move this line along. Low alcohol Japanese, okay. Uh. You can have this new weird one. It's okay, there's plenty of time. Uh. 
I'm gonna complain to the developer about this damn place. No, I need you to leave. Futosa down. Chillable Japanese, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I don't like mushrooms. I really don't. I know that mushrooms can be used in all kinds of things. Chat, have you ever had a mushroom burger? I forget what kind of mushroom it was that was involved in that. I think it's a portobello. Mild food. Nobles of mind time to prefer milder food. Neat beverage. Futo gets milk. Okay. Uh, Futo the pine nut cake. Pine nut sticky rice. Okay. Pine nut sticky rice. Japanese premium Mount Delicacy Legendary. Mm. She likes Mountain Delicacy. Mountain Delicacy Legendary Premium Japanese. Okay. Well, this will work, right? Like a, I think it's a portobello. I don't remember. We used to sell them. They were not popular because they were very expensive. They look kind of nasty as well. One who likes trending food. Saint girl, sun goddess, sacrifice. The Buto leave? Okay. I can't get Sega in time. It's it's impossible to get Sega in time. But I can't get Toad to go to sit down at least. Okay. Yeah. Uh chat, what's it called? Is, is it a schnitzel? Japanese shochu. I guess having what I have before every once in a while is fine. I I don't remember if that's what it's called, but it's like a it's like a mushroom steak kind of thing. My friend tends to order it, but I can't remember if that's what it was. Japanese. Hmm. Hmm. Japanese. No, what were I giving you? Uh... Candied sweet potato. Vegetarian home cooking filling sweet potato. Sweet potato honey in the frying pan. Okay. Do I have something that makes something Japanese? Make it Western. Hmm. I don't think I can. Barbecued home cooking filling Japanese. Can't do barbecue for this. Filling home cooking. Okay, I can't. I can't get Japanese on it, but it's fine. I. Hmm. Is it worst? Is that what it is? I. I can't remember if it's like, like the actual thing has mushrooms in it. She doesn't like sweets. You are so confusing. You know that, Tojiko. Or if it was like the sauce on top of it. I cannot remember. Because I would never order it. Can't store it in your stunt head. Store it in your stomach. Alright, well. Here's your sweet potato again. High alcohol. Okay. Better than nothing. 
Greasy food. I can eat all the unhealthy and greasy foods I want now that I'm a ghost. High alcohol. Interesting. Looks like this character has serious mood swings when it comes to her fucking preference, huh? Hmm. Okay. The schnitzel with mushroom sauce on it called Jaeger schnitzel. It's hunter's. Oh, interesting. Tastes better, more better than a grudge. Home cooking is what I miss the most. Shochu. Home cooking. I still don't know what I want to give her. Home cooking Japanese greasy barbecued filling. You can't make that greasy. Japanese... Filling... Savory... Uh, home cooking. I don't think I needed to add savory to that, but I don't remember. Okay. How much dark matter did you make, Hina? Only one. You made one singular dark matter. Worst is Soshi. High alcohol filling. Maybe she just has an internal preference for new things every time. That would be spicy. Filling, home cooking. Adding a potato creates home cooking. High alcohol. All right, it's time for you to leave. Take your godfather and scram. They say they say that, you know, the place where uh, something originates from is where the best you can find of it is. I would say that's true. For poutine, that's my specific example. Poutine is a, it's a Canada-wide phenomenon. You know, every, every province in Canada, or well, I'm assuming every province in Canada has poutine. A little kitty tells you Chen has a new Izakaya upgrade task. Thank you so much, little kitty. Uh, what was I saying? Poutine is always good, but they say poutine in Montreal is like the best poutine you'll ever have. And I 100% agree with that. Having gone there and tried it, like trying it, that, I don't know, man, that shit just hits different. There's something about it. It's just the perfect amount of greasy with the ingredients. It's just, oh, yummy, yummy. Chen, there's something I need your help with. What, Chez? I opened a branch of Myodan Temple. Can I ask you to help me expand it? Myodan Temple? Ah, Kyoko built some bridges for you. No, it was actually Miss Mommy's though. When did you get involved with the Tanuki's boss? Ranchaman said Tanukis are all two-faced villains. Don't say I didn't warn you when she swallows you whole. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> hey, you did that on purpose, so you're helping or not. All right, opening more branches isn't anything bad for us either. Thanks, I'm counting on you again. Of course, it'll cost you. I know that. What do you want this time? I heard Myona Temple's specialty beverage has been making the rounds. I want... My cats want to have a try... To try it too. You want to try the mango pomelo sago, right? No problem. Consider it done. Not me, the cats! Chen, there's something I need your help with. Which is... I opened a branch in the Divine Spirit Mausoleum. Can I ask you to help me expand it? You opened a branch all the way in Senkai, huh? So you're saying a branch in Heaven ain't entirely out of the question? No way. You... You're only able to open branches all over against Sokyo because of all of my contribution. Of course, I won't forget how much you've helped me. Yes, yes, that's more like it. So can I count on you again? I don't work for free, you know. I know that. What do you want this time? Hmm, I heard Senkai's pine nuts can promote longevity. So why don't you cook up something with it? No problem, I'll get it ready ASAP. Okay. Give ten... Uh, give five mango pomelo and three cuisines with pine nut. Can do, champ. Three cuisines that use the pine nut. Hmm. Hmm. Ron and Mommy Zo have never interacted in canon, so nobody actually knows what their uh, uh, their 
what do you call it? Interaction would go. Uh, pine nut dish. But the age-old rivalry of uh, Tanuki and Kitsune is definitely a thing. However, most people most people assume that Ron is the fox. And, well, honestly, arguing that is pointless. Uh, pine nuts. Pine nuts. Did... There we go. Ever since that Strange Creators article came out, it's turned into one of those fun facts that people like to uh, bring up all the time. But also in the Strange Creators article, it even says, like, it's fine to think of Ron and the fox that Ron controls as the same creature. And it's like, yeah, that's fine. Less headache. Less headache involved on that one. <clears throat> How sweet. It's just as sweet as the rumors claim. <clears throat> the cats told me that. That is per our agreement, I'm going to make you a shop for you. Don't get too comfortable here. Remember to do business in other locations. This is a dish that extends your lifespan, not exactly a cat's cup of tea. And as per our agreement, I'm going to make you a shop for, sh for you. Don't get you comfortable here. Okay. Can you do another one, or are you only level 2 for now? I guess only level 2 for now is fine. Ron likes fried tofu. That's true. She does. Chen's closer to a cat because she's not a complete shikigami. But for the most part, Ron is completely, like, taken over the Kitsune. To the point where you can consider Ron and the Kitsune one of the same character. Which everybody has been doing since her uh, inception. So, it's, you know. It's one of those things that some people are going to try to argue at this point in time. That you gotta, like, do. But it's not gonna stick. It's never gonna stick. It's already been established. You cannot defeat it. I remember a time where people were, uh... They were- they changed- they changed what they called, uh, Hina. They started calling her a pestilence god. Like, even the wiki started changing all of Hina's entries to change the entry just to call her a pestilence god. And it's just like, what are you doing? Like, Mount of Faith is- Mount of Faith is older than, uh, than, like, everything. <laughs> that game is, like, over a decade old. You can't just- like, just changing pre-established things on the fly for random reasons is so confusing to me. Because all you're doing is confusing people who've been, you know, using the same terminology for a fucking decade. Uh, Nui has not shown up. I have to go to the mausoleum. Sega needs to show up. Now I'm at a bit of a sticky wicket. Ah, there we go. Okay. I know that the translation for Fantasy Seal has changed for some godforsaken reason, and let me tell you, I'm just never not going to call it Fantasy Seal. When I first came to this cemetery, it was guarded by some weirdo. Oh, we already got that one. Okay. Kogasa is finished. Hmm. What if someone comes the moment I leave? Okay. I don't really, uh, I don't really care that much. If you wanna, if you wanna call it by its official translation, go for it. But, could you really be surprised if somebody's been calling it Fantasy Seal for 15 years? That they're not just gonna change it? Because of, uh, language semantics. You didn't sit down. Hmm. Alright, this isn't translated for some reason, but it's okay because I have, uh, I have the translation. Alright. Alright, so about that sweet potato. What is it? What about it? I knew something was off, I thought about it, and I'm pretty sure I only buried three sweet potatoes. Why would you have dug out five? Which is that line. Eh? How odd there can't be someone burying sweet potatoes in the cemetery, can there? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. There you go. I had that... I had that prepared. Don't you worry. Okay. Where are you off to, Miss Tojiko? I'm going to check on Futo. There's something the matter with Miss Futo. She broke a bunch of plates again yesterday, and now the mausoleum has a shortage of tableware. Hmm. 
<laughs> the crown prince gave her plate to the disciples, so Pluto, feeling guilty, gave her own plate to the crown prince without telling anyone. The fact that Miss Pluto feels guilty means she's grown too. It's useless. Even if she regrets it, she can just keep doing it. That's the reckless person we call Pluto. Oh, so you're looking for her because... She doesn't have any tableware to use, so she must be going hungry. I don't really get why Hermes do this fasting thing either. Whatever it is, starving isn't a pleasant experience, is it? I myself won't ever feel hungry, so I might as well give my share to her. Why well, aren't you a nice lady? I see. You two sure are good friends. Yeah. Why do Taoist priests always look like they're buried in work, Miss Tojiko? Isn't that how training always is? Especially ones looking to become hermits. The moment they wake up, they have to face the rising sun and recite mantras thousands of times. In the afternoon, they can go freely out. They freely go out and be at ease, but the moment the sun dips beyond the horizon, it's back to reciting mantras while facing the setting sun. So that's why they're murmuring all the time. I, I didn't know there was such a thing. That, was, uh, that schedule was way too tight-packed. In times like this, I'm thankful for the fact that I'm a spirit. Nothing's tying me down, and I can drift around without a care in the world. That's true. So does the free spirit feel like drifting to my izakaya for dinner today? Ha! This free spirit doesn't take appointments. That shall depend on where the wind takes me. Good banter, good banter. Hmm. Have you been keeping up with your studies lately, Miss Puto? Of course, the crown prince's orders are absolute after all. Awesome. Why art thou so concerned with my studies? Because there's nothing scarier than someone with brawn, but no brains. <laughs> Nine, ten, oh. Miss Puto, by any chance were you scolded by Miss Miko for breaking too many plates yesterday? Information visits thine ears rather quickly, shopkeeper. I didn't mean to eavesdrop on purpose. It's just that customers tend to raise their voices after a few glasses. No matter. To be scolded by the crown prince for this is already a normal occurrence. Eh? Do you break plates that often? Twas originally to manipulate feng shui, but it slowly grew into an addiction. I don't get it. How on earth do you get addicted to breaking plates? Thou wouldst never understand unless thou experience the thrill of the shatter thyself. From starting fires to breaking plates, is the person in charge of the mausoleum's finances really okay with this? Hmm. Miss Puto, are you? Speak forthright. <clears throat> do you have an urge to start fires right now? I was scolded by the crown prince yesterday. Mine urges shall be suppressed for some time. Then what about breaking plates? I break plates to manipulate feng shui, tis not an impulsive urge. Great, would you like to have dinner at my shop tonight? I have a lot of fresh ingredients prepared. Thine intentions hath made itself clear. I shall consider it. <laughs> okay, level two is open now. All right, so I still need to hit Sage, uh, but I need to hit Nue and Mirasa, so let's go there. We'll go there first. Okay. But now I don't have to worry about picking my uh, utensils because I can always hit the ones I need to hit. So it's fine. Let's just give them some weird stuff. Everybody likes weird stuff. The creamy crab seems pretty good. You know, I just think that Mystia has such a large menu of stuff. That's not, like... I feel like I should try all of it, you know? Like... You gotta try almost everything on this menu. I don't know about this. I I don't know about that one. That one would feel kind of weird to try, I think. But like, you know, it's pretty standard stuff. It c couldn't hurt to give it a shot. Couldn't hurt. Get some scones. There you go. All classico. I don't think cicada slews would be very good to consume, but that's just me. Alright. And I have, uh, I'd rather... Hmm, the boiling pot I'd rather have a bonus one for. Hmm. Extreme, baby. Okay. <clears throat> And now we're decked out. Look at that. I've made 18 already through tips alone. Woo! Hina will do it. Just trust her. Cook that steak. Yeah! Instantly cook that steak. Just don't know how I feel about that, though, you know? 
Chad, imagine you go to sit down at a restaurant, you order the- you order the steak, the waiter, like, takes five steps and then into the kitchen and then comes back and the steak's already done. Wouldn't you have questions? I would have questions. How is she so fast? Marasa, seawater and tears both taste salty. That's... That's just... That's great. That's great. You know what? I was thinking about that too hard. I forgot what you wanted to drink. Chillable. Alright, you want the biscuits. Biscuits are cheese and flour. Salty is perfect. Okay. Cheese and flour. Premium savory meat salty. Uh, savory. She likes, okay, she likes meat and savory. So, onion and meat. I don't think you should ever have an onion and, like, meat cooked into your biscuits, but what do I know? What do I know? Likes filling foods. Oh, I see. Brian, look out! <laughs> Good thing there was no one in line. Failed? Oh, shit. Japanese food. Shirayuki. Neat. I don't think I'd want to eat a steak that's already prepared, though. That's the thing. I'd want one that, like, that I know they're working on kind of deal. I would need information. High alcohol. The shelf life of food can't exceed an hour. Okay. You gotta be careful with food, you know? You don't wanna- you don't wanna just eat something with no information and then suddenly you're in the restroom fighting for your life. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to do that. Premium filling savory. Filling salty. I savory meat. I don't even remember what I'm doing here, but sure. The legendary biscuit. Hmm. Microwave. A sit-down restaurant microwave. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Low alcohol. Likes dry beverages. Since I'm the captain, I'm about an eye if I premium. Okay. And dry, huh? I, I'm happy that this works out very well for her. It's already premium because of the meat. Uh, add savory to it. It's good when a dish they give you actually. Oh, Kogasa sat down. Didn't even see her. But I, if I if I tell her that, she'll say that I she'll ask if I surprised her, and, and then you know. Can't scare anyone so my stomach always feels empty. She wants filling. Kane's here. Fruity, huh? Kogasa wants filling. Sweet, strange, home cooking, photogenic filling. How about this? Filling. Strange, sweet, I've already forgot. Photogenic sweet, yeah. Bing, 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 bing. Japanese food, chillable. 
High beverage, high alcohol premium. I heard it. Got the ding. That's a success. Cheese. Savory. Perfect. Chillable, good tasting food should look good too, right? Everybody loves the biscuits and gravy. And I have an infinite supply of cheese now because the rat. Chillable. The trick is to give them cheap stuff because then they can continue to order more. There you go. I heard a, a noise. Didn't sound good. So you can leap. You have 53 cents. High alcohol. Oh my god. You hear that? That ding? Can eat meat if it follows the threefold rule. Adding ingredients doesn't make things more expensive for your patrons, which is cool. But at the same time, it means I'm losing money on this deal. But it's okay because I am rich and it's not about how much money I make. It's about how happy I can make my customers. I have forgotten where the flower is. Chillable. Scary. Mushrooms. Chillable. You're just never going to leave that seat, are you? Squishy. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, strange photogenic sweet. Even though she doesn't like hot food, this, like, hits so many other tags, it negates it. Quite handy to know. Gasa is still here. Her 49 cents. Vintage. I need more strength to scare humans. Give her some power soup. Power soup. Make it filling. Dump a bag of flour in it. Make it strange. Put a cicada shell as a garnish. And one singular nut. That's all you need. And vintage. Here, take this wine I have too much of. Shochu, history and culture. I remember what I give you. I give you this shit with uh, home cooking, the potato. I, at least I think I do. <laughs> Japanese food. Hmm. Oh. Disliking soup. What are you gonna get soup? Excuse me? Who doesn't like soup? Huh. Aku is visiting the Myodan Temple. Cool scroll. Oh, right. This one. Uh, closing time is in five minutes. Well. <laughs> well, alright. Oh, it's so your cell phones aren't completely useless. Uh, you like takoyaki, right? With the flour and... Um... Honey? Beef? Batter? I don't remember. I tried.
crab, takoyaki, flower, seaweed, octopus. That's what it was. The seaweed was pivotal to the whole thing. And it needs to be photogenic, which it is. And I don't remember what else he likes and I. Uh, maybe you like sweet, and maybe you like legendary premium. Hmm. Oh, Squishy's here. No alcohol. So Nai is one of those characters that I would not immediately say needs milk. Just, you know. That's just my opinion. Here you go. Sake mild. Free stuff, dude. Free stuff. Hmm. They booed him. They eyebrowed him because he's, he dared to speak the truth. Uh... Flower. God damn it. I was looking for mild. Yeah, this thing. Mild home cooking. Yeah. Cock. Uh, Koichi's order just changed. She's getting impatient with me. Sake. Hmm. The world becomes more interesting if you treat everything strange. Soda. Okay. Hmm. Sword? Bad. Soda. I want the other one. Here you go. Moon rocket. But a jump, jump start. Japanese traditions. Japanese food sake beverage. Okay. Photogenic sweet. Uh, you dumb baka. Hmm. Sake. 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 Sparrow sake seems like it'd be neat to try. But it's not real, so. What a shame. History behind Japanese dishes. Okay. Uh, mild. I think it's already mild, actually. No, it's not. Home cooking. Uh, cultural background. Okay. Hmm. Ba-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum. Modern beverage. Would you like a soda pop? I'm coming. I'm coming. I gave that to the wrong person. Huh. Okay, well, uh, let me just do that again and get the to the right person this time. Uh, hmm. Whoops. And then I forgot what you wanted anyway. Shochu. Ah! Shochu. Does fantasy mean eternity? No, apparently it means dream. Bitter. Yep, that's me. Bitter. Megatama. Yes, thank you. Nue dislikes Western food. Cool. Fantasy means eternity. You mean dreamy? 
I don't know, put a cicada shell in it. She'll dig it. Okay. Hmm. You don't need to be fancy. Just some day-to-day -day home cooked dishes is fine. Okay. Sake. My my memory is like mystified right now. Cause I can't remember what thing people want when I take their order. Well you're done now at least. Sweet. I would call a place home as long as my two gods are there with me. Home cooking. Uh home cooking, home cooking, home cooking. Put a potato in it and make it sweet. All girls love sweets. That's that was that's the assumption I'm going off of. Sweet beverage. Okay. Here. Go drink yourself. I have two tummies, one for food and one for dessert. That's sweets. Alright, I've discovered the secret to squishy. Just feed her that with a cicada in it, and you're good to go. Alright. Neat beverage, cell phones. Okay. I can't see. Street vendor takoyaki. I hear that shit is pretty divine. I've had takoyaki before. But never, like, from a street vendor. Just, like, it's a classic festival food stuff, you know? Neat. Take this and leave. Please, I need to close. Uh, there's a substance called salt. Yep. Yeah. I'm in the boiling pot right now. Better. You can leave now. You're at a budget. The cost of living in Gensokyo is even higher than the outside world. Oh. You'll never guess what I want. Fuck off with that one. <laughs> High alcohol. This is coming from the character who thinks the PS2 is still a new game system, alright? Give her a break. Give her a break. You'll never guess what I want. Good thing it recorded in the book or I wouldn't have. Are you done? Your endless budget. I brought some cash with me, you can have it. Well. I would, yeah, I would assume I could have it. Otherwise, what are you going to do with that? Hina destroyed four dishes. But that's fine. That's okay, Hina. I employed you because I expected mistakes. And I could afford them. Popularity is a gust of wind. Filed foods are no longer popular. Not like you can ever really predict that anyway. Alright. Okay, alright, okay. Chen has no order for that. Um, what's progress like? Kogasa has bought... Okay, I can get the recipe for her. Marasa ate the biscuits. Nue did not show up. And then Seija... Oh my... It's so annoying, dude. <laughs> it's so annoying. Alright, well. Let's go to the Myodan Temple. Hmm. All right. No. Nope. Gotta wait for that for her to show up. But well, I could talk to Barasa at least. Thanks for telling me the origin of biscuits, Miss Barasa. It's a very interesting story. 
To this day, hard tack biscuits are still the ideal maritime emergency ration. Seafaring sure is full of danger. Oh, this slipped my mind, but I remember from talking with Kyoko. What are you getting at? Isn't a shipwreck how you... Oh, that? Yeah, I lost my life in a shipwreck. Didn't I tell ya? The sea has no shortage of accidents. It doesn't bother you at all? I've already received salvation. A captain should focus on the path ahead. Looking back is bad luck. Damn. Alright, champ. The number of water-related accidents against Sokyo seems to have risen re recently. Those happen anywhere. As someone who's been in one, do you have any good advice? Well, when sailing in a lake with poor visibility, be alert at all, at all times. Mm-hmm, what else? Accidents can happen everywhere. Fishing in a river, training under a waterfall, bathing in a hot spring. Make sure you're prepared 24-7. True, it's not common, but it's not entirely unheard of either. Also, be careful when washing your hands in the shrine's Chozuya. You can get into an accident while washing your hands? Why? Don't underestimate, underestimate me. As long as there's water, I can cause an accident. You're the one causing them! <laughs> Your kitchen sure is free of puddles. When did you visit my kitchen? I don't recall that happening. It'd be bad if I were discovered. You aren't plotting something, are you? Are you gonna sink my shop? Nah, just force a habit. If there ain't any puddles, I wouldn't get hung up on it either. Hung up on what? Alright, alright. Uh, you aren't welcome in the kitchen, but you're more than welcome to come to have a bite. Eating isn't as fun as sinking ships. I'll go have fun in other places. God, I have been denied. Every time, dude. Every time. Nobody wants to eat at my establishment. How am I supposed to make money? Kogasa, it's me. Wow. That was close. Why are you holding a demon ceiling sword and demon ceiling needles? I forged all these. And these bells and mirrors, too. When I get serious, I can forge the items of the, of the most superb quality. Human smithies... Smithies? Have nothing on my level to think you had such a skill. Starting to see me in a different light, I'm a Sukumogami of all trades. What else can you do? Besides blacksmithing, I also babysit human children, among other things. Huh? A babysitter? Can you really? I heard that in the outside world, babysitters fly through the sky using an umbrella. Doesn't that suit me very well? That's a cheeky reference. What's funny is this reference that she's saying here is actually a reference that was used in actual Toho as well. So, it's a reference to the reference of a reference. The only similarity is the umbrella, right? By the way, blacksmith or babysitter, why do you want to work so many jobs? Well, I was thinking. Hmm. If no one wants to use me as an umbrella, I'll go and be a useful tool for humans, myself. I only know how to scare people, though. But I think predicting what humans want and then taking the initiative is assisting them should be the attitude of all new Sukumogami. Wow, that's a really remarkable idea. Hmm, <laughs> it's nothing. I never thought you were this mature. I'm sure you get a lot of orders from humans. What's wrong? My orders are at a grand total of zero. Huh. Why? Why are you crying all of a sudden? Am I really that useless? No, you're not. Aren't you really good at your job? No one needs my help. No one will place an order with me. Oh. So you're one of those people. What point is there in living anymore? How would I place an order? Is that okay? Sure, what do you need? What an amazing recovery. Order all you want. I can't do anything, but I'll do my best. I can't do everything, but I'll do my best to learn whatever you order. So are you pessimistic or hardworking? Let's see. Speaking of, I recall Myodan Temple celebrates Pari Nirvana Day every year. On the stalls, there'd always be this long dongo thing. You mean ya the Yashoma Dongo. Yashoma Dongo. That's why the Shrine Maidens came to Mo Myodan Temple to sell Yashoma Dongo. I think it's done the same way on the as, as the outside world, it, so it's all sold like hotcakes. Why would a Shrine Maiden sell Dongo at a temple? Never mind that. The outside world's Dongo. Do you remember what that Dongo looked like exactly? Hmm, I think you use a variety of colored Dongo to... Hmm? You can't remember. No, I definitely can, right? I'll probably remember if I could taste some various kinds of Dongo. No problem. Wait a bit. I'll go get some Dongo. Oh no. What are you asking of me right now? Give Lunar Dongo and Mochi. Okay. Okay, I can do that real quick. 
I can buy both of those from the human village, right? That would save some time. Nobody knows Don goes better than me. Yep. If I return, I'll die for sure. God, grapefruit juice just sounds nasty. Didn't even have to waste time. Cost efficient. Hmm. Return to Umbrella. You're really making me feel for this character here. Oh. Yes, it's coming back to me. The Dongo in question is like a longer version of this one. Oh, when you cut it, it reveals a pattern. A Dongo with patterns. I got it. Thanks for giving me such a wonderful idea. Well, really? I helped with something? You were a great help. When I finish making it, make sure you come try it out. Awesome, I'll be there. Yashima Dongo. Uh, looks like elongated dongo on the outside, cutting into it open, cutting it open reveals a variety of pictures, breathing a fresh sense of life into dongo. Apparently Yashoma dongo symbolizes sa Sarira. Isn't that the Buddha's ashes? I don't know. Sticky rice and sticky rice. I am so glad that recipe just takes two, two sticky rice, because I just don't know what to do with that shit. <laughs> Because it doesn't add a single thing to, uh, to uh, like, flav flavor. Like, ingredients or tags, and adds nothing. Would you like to temple a knight? Bad thing. Hustle, bustle. You're right. Moving around carefree is pretty important, too. There will always be a chance to scare someone. I'll drop by your shop tonight, then. You're welcome anytime. Just don't scare my customers, okay? Alright. Hogasa said yes. Grab the lamprey. Grab the bingdi. Hmm. Sage, okay. We're opening here tonight. Can all vengeful spirits summon thunder? Vengeful spirits can be considered clusters of anger, like how rage is described as having thunder strike. So anger and thunder have a very close connection. So that's why the God of Thunder looks so cross in all the drawings. But not all vengeful spirits can call upon thunder. Small vengeful spirits can only make a rumbling sound at most. As, but as their level of resentment increases, they can make more crackling sounds. Only great vengeful spirits can truly cause thunder. <clears throat> I see. So you're... I can summon thunder all around myself. So I can be considered a fairly high class vengeful spirit. Scary. I'll take care not to make you angry. Hmm. Fly on the wind. Take from uh, I'll drift by and let you do the honors. There you go. Just I gotta get that. There's different text. Slightly different text when they accept or not. So you gotta pay attention for it. I've never read one myself, but I heard that Hiata household's history book are all very distinguished. That resplendent household of the human village. Yeah, they're renowned for chronicling the history of Gensokyo. If you want to learn about Gensokyo, why not give their books a try? I am aware in regards to their history books. You've already read them? Certainly not, but I have burned quite a few. They aren't for burning! You should apologize to Miss Akyu. Miss Futo, are you... Hmm. I shall consider it. In other words, no. This photo is unhinged, dude. She smashes plates, she lights fires. I can't... I can't stop her. Alright, we're opening here. So we're gonna improve the relationship with Futo, Tojiko. Hopefully Seija, or Sega rolls in and Kogasa will show up. Spice it up. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Alright. Oh. All right, here you go. You can take this, you can take this. You can take this, you can take this. 
Where's that potato? I have a lot of potatoes. Oh, it's already... Yo, pay no attention to me. Pay no attention to me. It's already there. Salmon. Getting too much Mio. Man, I remember my stuff looked a little, like, down. Because of, uh, the bizarre cooking competition. Makes me wonder how this one's gonna be. Uh, because those, the... <laughs> The thing about this game is that it's quite lax and you don't really have to like, you know, stress. But the end of D like the end of game and end of DLC challenges are definitely like god damn man, you got to you got to know what you're doing for them. You really do. It's fun though. They're fun and they're a good challenge to the overall like pace of the game. It's amazing how you can make it so challenging with the uh, the core gameplay of it. But the bizarre cooking competition was quite difficult. It's a, it's a miracle I got that on the first try because it took me a little bit to figure out exactly what uh. It took me a little bit to figure out like how Koishi worked, but I I may I just barely managed to pass it. Hmm. Hmm. Six hundred and forty-eight. There's never been an explanation as to why Hina spins. She just does. Cats want strange things. Well, not that. I've already forgotten. Ah. Oh. Shit, 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 shit. I remembered. I remembered. Okay. All right. The kanji for misfortune looks similar to a swirl. You mean the thing on Yiko's head? Broody. But even like in her in initial appearance, she just spins around everywhere. It's like, okay. Scarlet Devil Cake. Aura bursting. Could his dish make one burst into flames? Futo. Just take, take your milk and calm down, child. Aura bursting. That is uh, not one I have. Okay. Pork and boar meat. Okay. Hmm. Japanese premium mountain delicacy legendary mild. Premium mountain delicacy, aura bursting, meat. Can't add Japanese. I can't add mild to it with a little do. The problem is it's expensive. So she's gonna, okay, it's gonna end her budget. Hogas is here though. Low alcohol. Fresh food. I'm not gonna be the one to tell her to stop spinning. Are you? Eating together as a family feels very cozy. Damn, all right. Um. Photogenic 
So this thing is what I need to give her, right? Photogenic filling, strange cultural background. Photogenic, sweet, wonderful filling, home cooking. Okay. Golden boat. It's already filling. So I just need to add home cooking to it. And I guess I add sweet as well. Honey. Hmm. What's impressive about Hina is that she both, uh... What I find impressive about Hina is that she managed to have like two memes in one with her appearance because she just made a really, really silly face. Fresh fruits. Uh, do peach ice. Legendary. Mid alcohol. Wonderful. Wonderful. What have I been feeding you again? God, I don't remember. <laughs> what the hell was I feeding you? What? Well, it was the biscuits. Yeah. With sweet, photogenic, and I guess now wonderful, huh? I think. Mean, Fruity beverage. Strange. Okay. Oh god, here comes the rare customers. Mid alcohol. Neat beverage. Peasant would like something with a strong flavor. That means mild. It's automatically mild, right? No? Okay. Perhaps preferring premium items may be a habit of mine, aristocrat days. Premium. Not aura bursting. The hell do you. Ah, uh, premium. You know what? I could just do this again. Premium Mountain Galaxy. Yeah, what did I add to this last time? Uh, it was mild and... Mild and legendary? No. I think it was just mild. Like, that was it. Oh, I guess I can add legendary to it. Hoi. Fruity. Chillable. Ah. Good looking food should taste sweet too, right? Fresh food, savory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hauling ass here. You're getting that. Not all hermits are pretentious. It's something unique and unmatched about home-cooked food. Gingo. Home-cooked. I sound like mild stuff. Home-cooking, good with alcohol, cultural background, Japanese. Home-cooking, good with alcohol. Yeah, that'll work. Cocktail. Fresh fruits. 
Fresh. Fresh, 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 fresh. Hoi, 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 hoi. Good looking food should taste good too. Yeah. The ball is currently rolling. Vintage. Ugh. Hermit's cultural dish. Ah. Imagine if time didn't freeze in this menu. <laughs> Soda. Mild food. Cocktail. Can you leave already, Tenshi? Fruity. Mild, mild, mild. At least Proto can afford it, I think. If I give her really cheap drinks, yeah, she can afford it. Neat. Cultural. Hmm. Expensive thing. I... Here. Who am I not cooking for right now? You. Sweets can bring people closer. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Vintage culture. It's just, it's going, it's going. Wait, Sega's there. Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Eating together as a family sounds cozy. That line is just... That line is so soft, it's malleable. That's how I feel about that. A chillable beverage. Will Sega get in line in time? Oh, Squishy's here again. A neat beverage. Mm. Could a dish make one burst into flames? I... Yeah. Uh, mild. Cha-ching. Hmm. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Eat faster, damn it. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wish Koichi just like appeared in an empty seat. Like full on ghost mode. That'd be kind of funny. She just like materializes into a seat and it's like, hey, wait up! Like, give her the most offensive accent you can think of. The world becomes more interesting when everything is strange. Hmm. Bitter. And the job is done. Vegetarian and modern. Eating meat all the time is too unbecoming of a hermit. 
I don't know much uh, about this one because she showed up while Yuma was here, so it was got weird. Okay. Uh, that was so little information on her. Yeah, vegetarian. That's literally the only thing I got. <laughs> the first thorn I've ever taken from her. Uh, all right. Honey chestnut. Sweet, small portion specialty. Sweet, small portion specialty. So obviously make it vegetarian. Let's try filling. Uh, no, if I add meat to it, I can't do that. So let's try truffle. And... Uh, let's stick mild in there, see what works. It's a good opportunity to try and hit a bunch of different tags all in one go. You never guess what I want. I don't gotta guess anymore. Bitter. Well, wicked art, no walls between us. My story is among human legends too. I want modern beverage. Well, that's great. I hit too many tags. Now I don't know what that is. Legendary, I assume. Vegetarian, legendary, sweet specialty, but does not like filling. Well, the chestnut dish worked well, then. Does not like filling, but she liked legendary vegetarian. Let me just double check that. Specialty, yeah. Yeah, that hit everything, then. Specialty, legendary, vegetarian, premium. Yeah. It's everything I know about her so far. I have two tummies. She is just putting those down. Hmm. Failed, failed, successful. Sega likes small portion. Oh, okay. Sega likes sake. A nice snack should have small rather than large portions. So, all right, that means that honey nut, the legendary honey nut is actually quite good. Fantastic. There's a substance, salt, bitter. Four godfathers. A drink so strong that regular yokai can't handle it. And Koishi has just pushed back four of them. Or she's about to push back a fourth one. Oh, I fucked up. Whatever. Eating meat all the time. Vegetarian. Okay. Uh... Modern beverage. Does the ice cream count as modern? It does. Yeah, you can have Komiji ice cream while you think about all the bad things you've done. Okay. Ta-da! You're still here. Chinese and fruity. My homemade uh, hometown is a place of Taoist hermits everywhere. I guess I never tried the potato, huh? All right. Fruity beverage. I think it's time for you to leave. What? Okay, that's fine. I swear, man. Sometimes the tag system doesn't doesn't work the way I think it does. Never had that problem before. 
But now it's weird. All right. Time for some rhythm games. First, I gotta make. Let me, let me make a call. Let me call my guy. Excellent. I called my guy, who happened to be every merchant in Gensokyo, all at once, the same line, <laughs> deliver the same day, nay, the same second that I placed the order. Truly, an incredible world we live in. All right. Well, let's do some music as we wind down. Mm. We got the emblems, now it's the SDM time. Wine and dine. Okay. Oh, all right. Perfect. Wow. Wow, look at that sweep. <laughs> she did her best. <laughs> she did her best. Well, this one's level three. I didn't even know it was possible to score like that low. All right. Easy sweep. Easy sweep. Damn, she is on every board. You know what? She's trying though. 
She's trying. All right, last one. You are known. Chorus and spaghetti. Oh, easy stuff. And a winner is me. Spells and Curses Badge Gold. Unlock the Bamboo Forest Pack. All right. Little music in there. Okay. And now we continue. We continue our, our mission make friends with everybody all right i bought everything i am here to support nazarin in all of her business adventures you didn't show up did you he, no you didn't legend says while on a boat you could occasionally hear a voice asking to borrow a ladle ha huh, what a nostalgic legend you encountered her too? It said that once you give her, your, her your, the ladle, water will continuously flood the ship until it sinks. Totally, that was the best part. The best part? But rumors say you could escape if you gave her a bottomless ladle. Don't you think it's rude to advertise someone's weakness in a legend? Thanks to those rumors, I was forced to use my own ladle. So the rumors are about you? <laughs> no puddles in my kitchen. All right. Eating isn't as much fun as sinking ships. Okay, well, I've been rejected. What a shame. I want more chestnuts. Everything spawns, like, perfectly for me like that, so I gotta keep the routine up. Hmm. Why is Yasho Madango eaten on Per Nirvana Day? I think it's prepared for the ceremony to commemorate the Buddha's death when he attained Nirvana. I don't get it. What does Yashomadango have to do with the Buddha's death? He didn't know? The Yashomadango symbolizes Buddha's sarida. Sarida. The Buddha's ashes. Nope, don't get it. Humans are scary. Did I scare you? Hogasa, what have you done? What is it? Don't you know? Your wanted posters are everywhere in the human village. Oh, more or less. What on earth happened? You know how I said I worked as a babysitter for humans? How did you babysit into a wanted criminal? I didn't do anything though. If there are crying children in the east, I startle and comfort them. And if there are laughing children in the west, I startle and cr make them cry. Isn't that the same for all babysitters? I don't even ask for any money because no one's hiring me. I'm just being a good Samaritan. That kind of babysitter doesn't exist. You're just being creepy. <laughs> okay. Come along champ. All right. Were you at the village just now? Yeah, I wanted to see if there was anything I could help with and scare some kids while I'm at it. So how'd it go? I got bullied by a bunch of kids. Ah, uh, they doodled all over my umbrella. Now I, it didn't look scary, it don't look scary at all. 
They even forced me to play house with them. But just as I was having fun, their parents called them back home. What were you even trying to do? The worst part is they dropped all the ingredients they were going to use as props. You'll suffer retribution for that. So in order to avoid a tragedy, I brought all the ingredients back. I don't know what to do with them, though. You sure are on good terms with humans. Since you don't have a use for these ingredients, could I have some of them? My pleasure. Take as many as you want. Two pumpkins. Two pumpkins. I could go to the human village right now and talk to Akyu, and Akyu will hit me up with 20 pumpkins. Maybe even 40 pumpkins if she's feeling generous. Two pumpkins? Chestnuts and honey are a match made in heaven. In Taoism, there must be balance between the five elements. The same can be said for food. Five elements. The five elements are what make up Mother Nature. It's also the foundation of Taoism. If you want to explore the world of alchemy, mastery of the five elements is a must. Er, alchemy. Since you're well versed in the culinary arts, I'm sure alchemy would be a piece of cake for you. All you have to do is... I just remembered I have something to do. Maybe next time. While the ultimate goal of Taoism is immortality, I doubt that's something you can achieve just by becoming a hermit. Speaking of, how long do hermits usually live for? <clears throat> a hermit's lifespan be depends on how well they do in their battle against longevity. Battle against longevity. In the eyes of the ones down in hell, a human who lives even a teensy bit longer is judged as evil. They're so petty that every hundred years they send emissaries to collect their lives. How terribly rude. Wah! Emissaries from hell? At my level, the adversaries are usually Kishin chiefs and the like. Geez, dealing with those guys is not a pleasant experience. I almost failed to escape a few times. A hermit's life sure is full of danger. Miss Sega, as a high-level hermit, you should have your own Senkai too, right? I can create one in a cinch, but I like this place and its com company more. Oh, okay. Hermits tend to feel like recluses, so you so sled them. <laughs> Seldom see a hermit who lives the com who lives the company of uh, holy shit. What happened? What did you do to the sentence? Hee <laughs> hee. I don't want to be the av an average hermit either. If you like company that much, why don't you drop by my shop tonight? Nothing against your shop, little sparrow, but nighttime is the best time for stealth. What? Nothing a kid like you should worry about. I'll pay your shop a visit if successful. What? Stealth is optional. That, that character worries me. Where you off to, Miss Tojiko? I'm gonna check on Futo. Okay, I got that. Invite. Uh, I didn't catch that last bit, but it's fine. I'm opening at, uh, where am I opening? Miss Futo, I've always been curious. You're obviously a hermit, so why dress up like a shy maiden? It's difficult to say. One with a bird's brain may very well not understand. Eh? Don't underestimate me. I'm not your average bird brain anymore. I can even memorize everyone's preferences. I am in awe. Even I cannot remember all the knowledge of Gensokyo, despite the Crown Prince's orders. If thou long to hear, then I shalt. Please use modern language as much as possible. Very well. A thousand years ago, the noble houses of Japan were divided on whether to introduce Buddhism. Do you think she's going to talk about... Chad, do you think she's gonna... She's about to explain how she's a war criminal? I feel like that part is gonna be glossed over or left out entirely. On one hand, uh, was the pro-Buddhism faction. On the other, the anti-Buddhism faction. The Mononobe clan only worship at the old gods of Japan. T'was a clan strongly opposed to Buddhism. However, I worshipest a certain faith in secret. Taoism, right? Indeed, Taoism couldst allow one to acquire supernatural powers, with immortality as the final goal. For me, nay, for all in power, it was a remarkably attractive religion. What does that have to do with you dressing like a shrine maiden, though? Attractive as the Tao may be, this was not without its flaws. If the whole populace practiced Taoism and all couldst become hermits, what politics would there be? The country wouldst be no country at all. For this reason, I had to keep Taoism buried deep beneath the earth. I see. Because you can't dress too much like a priest, you decided to dress like a shy maiden. Indeed, but tis not a full compromise. What else is there? If thou payest attention to my outfit, on my hands, legs, neck, and hat art ribbons corresponding to the five colors of feng shui, 
Tis the proof of my devotion. Feng Shui. Wind banishes key whilst water halts it. Wherefore, in yonder times, man availeth of themselves of such. In English, please. To put it simply, the core of Feng Shui is harmony betwixt man and nature. Now you're simplifying too much. Hmm, tis hard to put into words. You could say Feng Shui explores the structure's position, layout, and human harmony to achieve unity between man and earth. What happens when you achieve this unity? Thou wouldst be blessed with a long lifespan, of course. So it all goes back to that in the end. Tis the ultimate goal of training, after all. Feng Shui aside, all that we consume is also to maintain our wellness. Yeah, I know about your diet. Like Buddhists, Taoists prefer lighter foods. Dying understanding is too shallow. The Taoist diet is closely related to the five elements and eight trigrams. Just no simple Taoist practice. The five elements and eight trigrams? What does that have to do with anything? Take the deer. In Taoism, the deer is not for the twelve zodiacs and is very warming. One who follows the Tao couldn't very well eat it to extend their life. The what and what? I think I understand that last sentence. You said deer meat can help one live longer. Indeed. The deer is a symbol of long, long, longevity. A deer that hath lived for a thousand years is a gray deer, 500 years more a white deer, and 500 years more a black deer. The pages of Zhang Fang's state consumeth the meat of a black deer, and thou shalt live for 2,000 years. 2,000 years? Therefore Taoism holds deers in high esteem. Deer meat is also used to worship Zhang Wu. Zhang Wu's six generals. I see. Better add deer to my shopping list. There aren't many symbols of longevity like this. If thou art willing to cook a dish with deer, I wouldst be more than happy to explain more. So you were hungry. That's not. I'll be right back. Do I even have that? Give cuisines with venison ingredients. It. I. I think I have one. Venison is such a rarely used ingredient, though. It's okay, I have enough time to do this. Bless be the gap travel. Holy shit, gap travel is so convenient. Okay. What the fuck uses that? Uh. Venison, huh? Fine. Ah! <laughs> I'm good. It's probably one of the... I know I have a dish that uses all four meat types. I uh, just need to see if there's anything that... Before that. Oh. There we go. Oh, not that. I used Lunar Herb. No, thank you. I'm not using up my herb. No, not that one. Not that one. Might have to be the big one. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Bamboo... Uh, the meat branch of Hordai. Thank you, Flan, for the resub. Oh, where is it? The meat branch of Hordai. Disgusting. Okay. Hmm. What are the most recent total characters that appear in this game? Uh, 17.5. Where am I going again? Futo. There aren't many symbols of longevity like the deer. Pine tree art study cape get the guild text, thank you. Pine trees art sturdy, capable of living upwards of a thousand years. It too is often praised as a symbol of strength and longevity. When you mention that, I remember seeing a painting of a white deer under a pine tree, so it means longevity. Said painting is white deer unyielding pine. Almost all Taoist priests hath one in their homes. Huh. I get it now. I think the key to a long life may sound complicated, but it's actually very simple. Basically, collect and get close to symbols with long, long longevity. So if we turn this painting with two symbols of longevity into a dish, it's definitely be popular, right? Tis a great plan. Should it come to fruition, the priest would surely spread the word. Okay, challenge accepted. <clears throat> White deer unyielding pine. Interesting. 
but pretty far in there. There's another one, the dragon carp, but that also uses lunar herb. Oh, a venison dish. Fine. <laughs> I guess I should have expected that. The white deer and the pine trees are both symbols of longevity, held in high esteem by Taoists who seek a longer life, hence the painting of a deer and a pine tree. This is just made in the painting's image. <clears throat> Venison, pine nut, gink ginkgo. Invite. This food to are you? Speak. You gonna break some shit? No? Thine intentions made it clear, I shall consider it, so let's know. Okay. Allow me to take a look. Kogasa said yes, but Nui is still at bond level one, so I need her to show up. So while it would be more beneficial if I went to the Divine Spirit Mausoleum. The fact that Nui is still stuck on number one is very, very annoying. So I'm not opening. I'm opening. I can't invite her until she's at least level two. That's the problem here. Okay. Hmm. Agony. I feel like Kogasa would love that. She, she wouldn't. She wouldn't at all. Sticky rice. Okay. This looks good to me. So many drinks. So little time. Yeah, it's, I can't even track what sells half the time. I'm not paying attention to it after a certain point. And the pot. Okay. There's no one in this game from 18, though. None of them have shown up yet. Uh, there should be another DLC. There will be another DLC. Uh, KK has been posting some teasers on uh, his Twitter. So far, there's two characters he's shown off. Uh, he's shown off Aya and Seija. Yeah, right there, Michael. That's true. <laughs> Michael confirmed. But there is going to be another DLC for this game. Uh, which locations? I'm not sure yet, but he has shown off art of uh, Seija and Aya. Double failure, damn. So they'll be involved. This is it! Unfortunately, the three fairies don't like visiting this area. Specialty. The journeys of mankind are how food comes across food. High alcohol. Okay. Specialty, huh? Do I have anything that adds specialty? to make a specialty dish for her. uh strength boost oh wait the lion's head is good right oh no that's what it was that's specialty okay Filling, meat, salty, premium, savory. Filling, meat, premium, salty, savory. Savory's there. Meat's there. So... Premium and salty, I guess. Can't make it filling. Uh, salty. Damn. 
premium. That should work. Okay. Hmm. No, the Sunny Milk Command was there. <laughs> the, the Sunny Milk Command was there because there was a sub incentive at one point. Where if I got enough subs, I would drink Sunny D mixed with milk. I call it the Sunny Milk dry beverage. So I put a, I put that as a command. But then when I actually did it, instead of deleting the command, I just changed the command to say Sunny Milk, and uh, that's that's the end of the story. <laughs> that's the end of the story. Salty. If I don't pay attention to the order and then I start talking, I forget what it is and then we just don't go anywhere. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, meat premium filling. Meat premium filling. New A is finally here. Rotten meat, fresh meat, shochu. Bunzang <sighs> cotton candy, frying pan and honey. Savory meat signature strange specialty. Signature meat, strange. I can add signature to it by adding this into it. And then I can add strange by adding this into it. All right, here's your cotton candy. Okay, I got it. Hmm. Wonderful things. Wonderful. High alcohol. Feeling of strength as a geyser erupts is way too exciting. That's strength boosting? Probably. Strength boosting, yep. Yeah. Strength boosting. Salt. Premium savory filling. Salt premium... Salt premium filling. Filling salt premium. Yeah. Eatable. Humans are the animals that love hunting the most. What does that mean? What? Humans are the animals that love hunting the most. You mean. You're talking about meat? I'm gonna assume you're talking about meat. There you go, champ. Uh oh. Well, that's okay. I made a mistake in there somewhere. Oh, can't add salt. Can't add meat. That was the problem. Uh. I added signature to it. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh wait. Specialty savory meat signature. Wonderful, strange, okay. Cool. That works. Forgot what I was doing there, that's all. Western beverage. Journeys of mankind or how food came across. That's another one for you. Uh... Okay. Shh. 
specialty savory meat premium filling. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. Strength, mid alcohol. Kogasa is low rank, okay. Oh. Strength boosting. Power soup. She doesn't like soup though. She like sweet, phonogenic, and strange. Okay. When humans see me, they can't stop snapping photos. I... Is that... Is that true? I don't think that's true. Photogenic. What did I just make you again? Put a nut in it, and it'll be amazing. Okay. Hmm. Your culture's behind buried in cuisines, too. Oh, God. Oh, God, you. You are a relic of the past. Japanese cultural background, mild, soup, premium, sweet. Okay. Japanese premium. Here's your cultural background. Put a bingdi nut in it. I can't turn it into soup though. Fruity beverage. Food that surprises you is plenty interesting. Okay. I can give her the crackers, or the biscuits. They're cheap, too. You know, you just failed twice in a row. Vintage. Every place has its own unique dishes, that's signature. Be lion's head, right? Lion's head seems to work pretty well. Uh, what was else you wanted again? Savory meat signature strange specialty wonderful photogenic photogenic photogenic. That'll be the easiest one to work with. Yeah. Forgot about the washies. All right. That's close. Being together as a family feels very cozy. Oh, it's enough honey. Eating a potato just reminds everybody of home. Bad time for that. Naomi's here now. Unique dishes, shochu. Photogenic beef meat. Okay. Good dish to remember for Nui, at least. Shochu. Oh. Alright. There's no time! Sake culture. Reminds me of home. 
Chillable in Japanese. Well, time to make an egregious sum of money off of Marissa. Alright. And Marissa didn't show up. Ah. Uh. Goof. Five dark matters. One of them is mine, though. Heatable. Heat away long and healthy life is mild food. Oh. was a cheaper ingredient that had cultural background. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I guess I have plenty of herb. Nah, you know what? You don't get it. Oh. A pumpkin is filling. That makes sense. When I was still a Jesus statue, the Japanese style was the only one around. Holy shit, what do you eat? Japanese cultural background, specialty, mild mountain delicacy. How the hell did I feed you anything? Wait. Where is it? Buddha jumps over the wall. That's what you're getting. Mushroom Maiden's Tip Tap Pot. There it is. Buddha jumps over the wall. The premium beef, puffer fish, and truffle. What? No. Oh, it's tuna. All the sparkly shit. There we go. Pita ball. Heatable. Chillable. Japanese. Okay. That's why I have two pots. Simultaneous operation. Sake culture. Okay. Boing, boing, sake. Ding, ding. This dish was well worth the trip. The culture behind each dish may be as complex as Buddhist scriptures. So what you're saying is you want the same thing again, but now you're gonna love it. That's what I'm hearing? Mid-alcohol. Either way, you're leaving after that order. Japanese food, chillable. After a hard day at work, Marissa just wants to eat some puffer fish. Which, by the way, the fact that Mistia can prepare that so haphazardly and be A-OK -okay is impressive in its own way. But also, the fact that my assistant cooks can prepare that shit? I don't know, man. I'm just saying, if, I, if you told me that Kasume was a certified certified chef who can properly prepare puffer fish I would be a little hesitant in believing you that's all that's all I'm saying loved it loved it tips hmm surely you're done eating now right Excellent. 
A little bit of poison is good for the immune system. Yeah, well, I don't I don't really know how dangerous pufferfish poison is, but it seems like it's uh it's dangerous enough that said itty bitty little bit is lethal. So, you know, I'm just I'm just thinking maybe there's a virtual That's pretty poisonous. What What kind of crazy dumbass tried to figure to eat that, you know? Who did that? Who was doing that? Give me my stuff. Okay. And let us do the ancient ritual. Okay. Bahaha. -ha. Have you succeeded in your prank? Totally. Oh man, his face went redder than a cherry. No, I want to see it. Shame he'll have to go around your store uh, in the future. Eh? Why? Uh oh. Why are there so many extraordinary myths about you? That's because the past me concealed my true form. Oh yeah, I can conceal the identity of other objects too. Concealing identity? To rob an item, alive or otherwise, of its form, sound, and smell, leaving behind its movements. Take a bird flying in the air, now take away its properties and you get an unidentified flying object. That's my ability. But even if it's unidentifiable, we'll know what it is once we see it, right? An item robbed of its true form appears differently when seen by different people. The observer subconsciously fills in the gaps the unidentifiable object appears in a way making the unidentifiable object appear in a way acceptable to them. This is why legends about me contradict each other. That's also why the that's also why the characters see UFOs instead of the flying pieces of the whatever. Although for that first eye that makes enough sense. Wow, that's a really cool ability. It sounds super convenient for pulling pranks. Miss Nue, what is it this time? I'm here to invite you to eat dinner at my shop tonight. I prepared a lot of your favorite. Why'd you go out of your way to do that? Every night I see you at the gates of Myodan Temple with nothing to do, so... Heh. Like your shop has anything fun. Stop looking down on people. Take care of your own business before sticking your nose in others. I just want to be friends. She's so prickly. What are you cooking, Miss Marasa? It smells nice. This is my secret recipe. I call it Smoked Buccaneer. Smoked Buccaneer? Don't tell me it's meat made from... Hey, watch your mouth. This is a sacred place. Don't scare away the visitors. Sorry. So what is Smoked Buccaneer? Apparently the word Buccaneer originated from smoking meat over an open fire. Caribbean natives would smoke meat to sell to Caribbean pirates, so it, I called it Smoked Buccaneer. It sounds as strange as eggs on scrambled e eggs. Ha! Eggs on scrambled eggs. Isn't that an interesting name? Why do pirates buy smoked meat? For pirates, smoked and cured meat are very important foods. Meat can't be stored for long periods of time, so they would not They would usually smoke it. I see. Then they'd be able to eat meat in spite of the long voyage. Speaking of meat, what is it? You call yourself a Buddhist disciple, yet you go around eating meat and causing trouble. Not just you. Ever since you, I set up shop here, Yodan Temple's monks have come to eat meat on many occasions. Is that really fine? Why wouldn't it be? Aren't Buddha's disciples prohibited from eating meat? During the Buddha's time, monks begged for food. What people gave them is what they ate, so the Buddha never prohibited monks from eating meat. Vyakran and Sama doesn't prohibit us from eating meat either, as long as it's threefold pure meat. I see. What's threefold pure meat? Unseen, unheard, unsuspected. What does that mean? Not witnessing the killing, not hearing the killing, and not suspecting that the animal was killed specifically for your consumption. Otherwise, it's fine. That just sounds like an excuse for eating meat. Once an aesthetic from an external sect accused a monk of, for eating meat, he said eating meat is a stench compared to eating vegetarian food. Know how he answered? Um, this monk was very good at removing stench. What are you talking about? The monk said that the vile acts of those who do evil are the true stench. Eating meat is not the stench. Well said. You're always messing around, so I never imagined you'd know all this. That's because it's exciting. The Akhenaten Sama often told, uh, holds Buddhist services for yokai. Uh, that is, a meeting for teaching and studying the way of Buddhism. Many disciples, including me, actively participate in them. Exciting? I'm bored just hearing it. That's because you know too little. The path of the Buddhism is training to attain enlightenment. It's strongly tied to exercising evil spirits from a human soul. However, our Buddhist service is specially tailored for yokai, so... Does that matter? 
If the evil lurking in the human soul is an aspect of yokai, that the very act of a yokai attending a Buddhist service would be like them denying their own existence. That indeed sounds like a thrill. Right? So for many yokai, a Buddhist service is about the same as a ghost story meeting. A lot of new disciples are interested in Buddhism precisely because of these thrills. The Odin Temple sure has an innovative way to spread Buddhism. Ha! You should come by next time. We have a ghost story. Uh, Buddhist service. Compared to that, I'm more interested in your smoked buccaneer. By the way, what she just said there was completely true. I wrote an article about that. There was an increase of yokai visitors, er, visitors at the temple. And beyond, uh, Aya went to investigate, and then she heard from various sources that Byakuden's stories were terrifying to yokai. So they, they, she was like, uh, she was ghost story hour for them. Want to try some? Can I? No. There's no free lunch in the world. I have to pay to eat at your shop. Why should I let you eat for free? Because I put premium ingredients in your food and don't charge you extra for it. What the fuck? Then what if I gave you some premium dishes for smoked meat? Sure, let's do an exchange then. I guess you just don't notice the premium meat in your dish. Alright, I'll just leave it out next time. How's that sound? Uh, Alright, what am I doing? Give three cuisines with premium tag. Okay, I can do that. I'll do that in a second. What have you been up to lately? I have found a new job which suits me. Great, what kind of job is it? Prepare for trouble and make it double. For I... Did you read some strange book again? That line sounds familiar. Don't cut me off at a time like this, will ya? Sorry. <clears throat> From the top. Prepare for trouble and make it double. For I shall become a rainmaker. What do you think? Doesn't it go hand in hand with me? It goes hand in hand how? For me, even if I succeed in calling down rain, I don't have to worry about getting wet. That's true. It does suit you very well. Heh. I have everything it takes. Now all I have to do is make it rain. I won't bother you any further then. I believe in you. Now let me go call Chen. She can hit you up. The temple of night. Okay. What if someone comes the moment I leave? Oh. I have been rejected. Alright. Alright. Hmm. Wait, where's the gap? Okay. I have to make three premium dishes. Hmm. Premium. 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 Is that premium? Like the hat? Surprisingly, no. But the hat is. Alright. Here you go. Hmm. And now, to return from whence you came. Where is Ichiden? Where could she be? You're pretty quick. Alright, as promised, Captain will smoke. Uh, the Captain shall allow you to have a taste. Thanks, here I go. Whoa, what a rich flavor. <laughs> it's my secret recipe. Can I try making some too? What? You can make one after just one bite? Mm hmm, I think I can taste all the ingredients. Well, if you can make it, go ahead. A little pirate flag in there. Smoked buccaneer. Apparently the word buccaneer originated from smoking meat over an open fire. Caribbean natives would smoke meat to sell it to Caribbean pirates, which sounds as strange as eggs on scrambled eggs. Beef, black salt, chili, and honey. Damn. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You wanna... All right, all right. You aren't welcome in the kitchen. Eating isn't as fun as sinking ships. Okay, I've been denied there. So... Nui, level two. Marasa is at that. Kogasa, halfway through three. So, I need to give something to Futo. I need to talk to... Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna open the mausoleum then. 
Go for a little bit longer. Just a bit longer. They all denied me. Hmm. See, in my mind, in my mind, every single cat in the series talks the same way. They all have the same accent. Why? I don't know. They just do. It's funnier that way. Are you preparing for a long journey, Miss Sega? You are carrying such a big sack. Nope, these are all gifts I prepared for children. See? Why prepare gifts for children? I hear people celebrate something called Christmas in the outside world. During Christmas, someone called Father Christmas sneaks into people's homes and gives out toys to kids. Hmm. Ah, uh, so you're imitating Father Christmas. No, I was thinking of making a deal with Father Christmas and sell my toys to him. But I'm not sure if Gen Sokyo has a Father Christmas. I wouldn't be able to sell my toys in that case. So I plan on directly selling it to the, the humans. Then isn't it just a regular toy business? I wouldn't call it regular. Apparently Father Christmas gives out toys where humans are asleep, so I'd like to keep that tradition. That's why I sneak in when the humans are asleep, leave the toy behind, and then take something of value. Isn't that just theft with extra steps? Stop it already! <laughs> it's all canon. Can all- can all- okay, alright. Yeah, get that one. And I have to... I have to give Futo her thingy-majiggy. So I'll just get some ice. Good business. That's a crime, my guy. It's a crime. You can't just enter people's homes and take things and, and then leave things behind and have it be all okay. That's not how this works. Oh, well, I mean, you know, he came in and he, he took my he took my gold bar, but you know, he left uh he left a toy train for my boy. So all in all I'd say it was a fair exchange. No! That's not how that works at all! There we go. Yeah, I just picked the thing with the biggest number, and it goes in the, uh, the menu. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Justified exchange of goods. Trade offer. You give me one billion dollar. I give you nutcracker. What do you think? Deal or no deal? Of course, you don't have a say in this exchange because I am going to take your million dollar and then I'm going to leave the nutcracker behind. You have no choice. This is not a request. This is not an offer. This is a strong arm. Don't mind me, I'm just making some shit. If I'm capable of turning that nutcracker into two million dollar, I'm taking it. What the fuck do you think you are? The straw billionaire? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Who's going to buy that nutcracker for two million dollars? Fish. You are insane. Sake. Hina was the straw millionaire. She traded her cucumber and she walked away with a luxurious box ledge. Pretty and strange. Ho 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 ho. She never gets sick of the same thing, does she? Well, taint my problem. Hmm. Well, she didn't say anything about equivalent exchange. <laughs> That's the thing. Heatable beverage. Aura bursting. 
Well, you'll get your aura bursting later. I have to give you this first. Uh, venison ginkgo nut steamer. Okay. She love it. It wasn't aura bursting. I don't. I, I. I feel like I don't understand this game anymore. I, I actually feel like I just don't understand this game anymore. <laughs> there was no aura bursting on that dish I gave her, but it was. Uh, it was a match. Well. All right. I ain't taking it back. Uh. Where's low alcohol? Do I have a low alcohol that's like super expensive? No, actually, I don't. Well, that's fine. Hmm. This is gonna make things weird. Oh, Futo's already gone and Tojiko's taking her place. Can't store it in your head, store it in your stomach. Bitter. Okay. Filling, home cooking, barbecue, Japanese, greasy. Uh, filling, vegetarian, home cooking, sweet. I can't make that gre greasy though, right? No, I can. Uh, filling, vegetarian, home cooking. Filling, home cooking. Can't add Japanese. That's already... S That's so annoying. Uh, barbecued, home cooking, filling, greasy Japanese. I don't know. Where's a skewer? Aww. Uh. I can't be vegetarians. Uh, don't I have a... Yeah, this thing. Home cooking, barbecue... Filling, Japanese... I can make it filling and greasy. And a stick of butter. All right. Hmm. All right. Sega is now here as well. Low alcohol. Small shops serving food from all around the world. How convenient. All around the world. All around the world. All around the world is probably specialty. What was the dish she gave me? Um, it was the honey and the chestnut. Small portion, sweet specialty. Yeah. Small portion, sweet specialty. So I can just add legendary vegetarian to it. Oh, right. Perfect. Simple as that. Unhealthy, it's greasy, so same skewer. Filling and greasy. High alcohol. Okay. Oh. Ah. Uh. Modern. Eating meat all the time is too unbecoming. Vegetarian. Modern beverage. Ugh. Good. Hey, and she fresh fruits, high alcohol. 
All right. And she goes through my peach supply. A lot. High alcohol. Godfather it is. She's not really the one I care about. High alcohol. I want food that looks like it was struck by thunder. It's barbecue. <laughs> Greasy filling. There you go. No, wrong, 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 wrong. Big fat note. Okay. Hmm. High alcohol. No. Uh, cheaper one. She has to stick around. Low alcohol and every sweet has a story. Hmm. What was I? I think it was this. Right? Probably. Truffle tends to be my go-to for anything related to vegetarian. Because it has the all the legendary premium and stuff. High alcohol and thunder. Okay. Superb. Wonderful food. I love meeting wonderful people. Wonderful is such a strange tag. Well. Time to find something that adds wonderful. That doesn't cost me an arm and a leg. Whatever. Home cooking. High alcohol. She's really putting it away. Futo already showed up, so I've done everything I need to do at this point in time. Tojiko is leaving. Wonderful again. Okay. Chestnut. Low alcohol. Uh, I kind of wish Kasem would just go home, to be honest with you. It makes me think of their uh, their M1 skit together, actually. Permits, cultural, neat. Okay. Baxing Yang Yang. What the hell was I giving you? I don't even remember. Uh, home cooking, good with alcohol, cultural background, Japanese. Home cooking, I got it. I remembered. I like their skits. Most of them. Most of them I liked. Some of them fell a little flat because they just kind of rehashed. But the <laughs> I like I like the one where uh, I like the one where Kassen makes strange noises. Now I know how that sounds. I know how that sounds, but when I say strange noises, if your first thought is that, then you're you're the problem, not me. You're the problem, not me. I didn't do anything wrong this time. It's just the kind of like, you know how a busy person has those line deliveries with like onomatopoeias and shit? Like that's that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and the pose, dude. And the pose. Good. Still here, huh? Was 
that potato ever eaten? It sure was. Vintage. We on it. No, I wasn't looking for a monocle. I was just saying if you're if you were thinking of something else, then that's on you, not me. Uh steamer. It's funny how the most of the human village can be satiated with that one dish, but you need to get it from Kane first. Once you get it from Kane, you can use it for so much. Let me sing you a song, vintage. Warp speed, maximum overdrive. You got a, you got a money yet? Okay. It is currently 6-2. Time for more rhythm games. Okay. Jen has not hit me up with anything yet. So what was this progress looking like? Alright, so obviously Kogasa's the same. Murasa, I need to give her the uh, the Buccaneer. Nue, general invite. Futo showed up so I can talk to her. Sega, I can now start the next recipe, and Tojiko, I can next start the next recipe. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Which means we got a little more time. Time for more rhythm. Bamboo Forest of the Lost. Okay. I'm ready. Pay attention, please. I am in the VIP audience. Oh, that was barely good enough. Holy shit, that was like... Wow. That was like a no difference of having to redo that whole thing. That's a high score. Mocha, what are you doing? Alright. That, wait, did that say level... That's level 2, dude! Alright. Alright.
Puh. Oh no! Oh no! You you want me to you want me to perfect it? Oh my god! All right. Oh my god! All right, fine. I brain farted. I brain farted. I brain farted. I brain farted. I did the same thing again, the exact same spot. <laughs>
Oh, good enough. <laughs> it's good enough with okay notes. First place. Blown right out of the water. Level four? Ah, oh, I hope this opens up with the flute solo. I like that part a lot. This is the part we find out that Satono has scored a billion points, right? And I have to perfect it. <laughs> All right, you know what? That's not a perfect, but that's still that's still a lot I have to do. That opening part was not easy. Nah, no, don't give me that gold badge. I'm not top of the leaderboard yet. I haven't earned it. <sighs> You'll never hear this part in the Izakaya, but it's good. And the worst part is I have that means I have to wait the whole time. <laughs> Every time for the first note. I think I can afford one mistake early. If I make one mistake again, I'll leave. If I make two mistakes, I'll leave it. But if I make a third one, I, I am I'm restarting.
the game says I can move on, but I say I can't move on. Once I get past the first half, the rest of the song should just kind of go nicely, but I just, I gotta get, I gotta get through it. It's not enough! It's not enough! It's not enough! It's not enough! No, it's not enough! I got it worse! <laughs> it was worse. I'm about to clean sweep this board though. worse I had less mistakes overall Thank you, Jess, for the resub. Just try again. Just try again. Just try again. No, oh, just try again.
い。Highest rank. You've now taken first for the leaderboard. Where'd my other Mistyas go? I was supposed to clean the board with my scores, but instead it just was like, "Nah, you got number one now. Beat it. Be happy with that." Well, I am happy with that. Thank you very much. Cho Chu. All right. Get me out of here. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's do the usual. We got enough time for one more opening to save all that progress. Be everything you've got. Okay. New. Ah! God damn it! What's wrong? None of your business. Actually, I saw everything. He started it, so he deserved that punch. And even if you seriously hurt, you heard what he said, yeah? Uh, he said you had no friends. Yeah, I have no friends, so would you piss off already? This seems to bother Miss Nui a lot. She's still mad, so let's not provoke her for now. Would you like to come eat at my place? Take care of your own business. Okay. All right. I have to, yeah, Buccaneer. Buccaneer Blaze. I think I'm opening here again. Rogasa, what have you done? What is it? Don't you know? Oh, yep. Yeah. She doesn't know. Invite. Okay. You're right. Okay. She's coming to town. I think I'm opening here anyway, though. So. It doesn't matter that much. Hmm. Give me the lamprey. Give me the bingdi. Give me the bingdi. Bingdi. Nope. Alright. Why are there so many chestnut trees planted near the mausoleum? A little sparrow is rather suited for Taoism. You've hit the nail on the head and get again. Huh? Is there a link between chestnuts and Taoism? How do I put this? Are you familiar with Dowson's finder? Founder? Lao Tzu. Goodness, the little sparrow actually knows about Lao Tzu. Heh <laughs> heh. I heard Taoist priests mention it a few times in my shop. You answered wrongly, though, I regret to say. Lao Tzu is the founder of Taoist philosophy, but not Taoism as a religion. That title goes to Zhang Daoling, who is called Tianxi. Or is it Tianxi? Celestial Master. Okay. They say while he was practicing Taoism, he planted many chestnut trees because he disliked meat, using it as a substitute for rice. What a picky eater the Celestial Master is. <laughs> After that, all his followers mimicked him and always started planting trees. Also started planting trees. One chestnut tree led to another, and it became a tradition. Hmm. <clears throat> I see. I know another story about chestnuts. Want to hear it? Yes, please. Back in ancient China, there was an old man who was very fond of monkeys. He kept a, quite a lot of them, so people called him the monkey trainer. Monkey trainer? Mm -hmm. Due to the huge amount of monkeys he was keeping, a lot of food was needed. In the end, the monkeys had all but eaten all of his savings. You're talking about monkeys, right? Why does the image of a certain person come to mind? Yes, they're monkeys. As such, the monkey trainer decided to reduce the monkeys' rations. However, unlike other pets, monkeys were like a bunch of naughty kids. Getting them to accept this would be immensely difficult. What did he do then? There was a tall chestnut tree near his house where the monkeys would often eat from. So in the event that there wasn't enough food around, feeding chestnuts to the monkeys may very well work. Yeah, chestnuts are very filling. So the monkey trainer told the monkeys he would give them three chestnuts in the morning and four chestnuts at night. Yet the monkeys whined that it wasn't enough. So the monkey trainer told them they could have four in the morning and three at night. The monkeys only noticed that four was more than three. Thinking that their food had increased, they happily increased, accepted it. So he gave one more chestnut to each monkey. Isn't that increasing their food? Did you miss the part of that, Mistia? Don't take things at face value. One must know that they gain the insight into things to see their very essence. Three, four, and four, three are fundamentally the same thing. Three, four. Three plus four and four plus three. Yeah, they really are the same. <laughs> to think that you run a successful business. 
Gensokyo sure is a simple place. Everyone does take care of me. All that talk about chestnuts has made me a little hungry. Same here. I still have some of those honey chestnuts left over. I'll bring over some over to share with you. Don't mind if I do then. Just gotta see what you want first. Hey, Miss Night Sparrow, over here. What's the matter? Do you know where I can lay my hands on some mushrooms? Hmm? Uh, I think the priest over there sells it. Ingredients from Senkai tend to be on the sweet side. Dishes cooked with them also have the sweet smell to them, so it doesn't suit my palate. I think it's because the ingredients here are steeped in celestial energy all the time. Though the average person can't taste the difference. But I'm a vengeful spirit. Isn't eating stuff like that just slowly killing myself? Not that I'm alive. I almost forgot you're a vengeful spirit. I almost forgot that myself. I don't get it. You're such a compassionate person. How did you become a vengeful spirit? Because I harbored a grudge, of course. Is, this, is it your hatred for Buddhism? Nope. Ah, I can't say it's not that either. In any case, it's not directly the reason why I became a vengeful spirit. Hmm. Then what is the reason? The reason isn't important anymore. It's been so many years. Aren't you the gossip rag? So do you know where I can get mushrooms or not? Preferably ones with a richer taste. Well, if it's mushrooms, I think you'll find the most abundant at the shrine. The mushrooms there are as wretched as their shrine maiden. Well, if it's mushrooms, I think former hell. No way, I absolutely cannot step foot in there. Well, if it's mushrooms, I think you'll find them in the Myodan Temple. Just thinking about those mushrooms smoked with Buddhist incense it leaves a poor taste in my mouth. You could say the forest of magic's environment is the exact opposite of the uh, of this place, so maybe the mushrooms there will be more to your liking. The forest of magic. You never heard of it? Oh, you mean that forest with a bunch of shut-in magicians? Bunches a little. Shut-in magicians? I mean, you're not wrong. Got it, I'll drop by later. Incidentally, are you looking for mushrooms to use in an ingredient as in a dish? Oh, I got my hands on some tender meat this morning. I wanted to fry them wrapped around in mushrooms. What an innovative way of cooking. As servants of the Crown Prince, we all know our, our way around the kitchen. I've also learned a number of folks' dishes these past few years. Not only do you like cooking, you seem to like eating too. You're a spirit, and yet... Ah, why did I suddenly get chills? Hmm? Were well, you reminded of someone? Well... Unlike Futo and the Crown Prince, who merely slept through the th thousand years, I had to spend all those years guarding the Great Mausoleum alone. Food was the one thing keeping the loneliness at bay. If there's one thing I miss, it's so I could have all the good food to myself. Ha ha ha, be mindful, otherwise you might accidentally go to heaven. True. I'm really interested in that dish you mentioned just now. Why don't we exchange dishes made with mushrooms? Sure, we'll learn from each other. Alright. Allow me to solve... Let me solve the problem. Okay. What do you want? Uh, two honey chestnuts, five cuisine with mushroom. Well. Wow. Oh. My time. It's going up. Uh. That one. Okay. Good. It's gotten dark. And now I go back. I'm opening in the in, in the Myodan Temple, so I gotta invite everybody here. So I gotta watch my remainder of my time. A sweet and delicious honey chestnuts are eat too much and the, uh, of them, and you won't have a space left for anything else. Besides containing fat and protein, chest chestnuts also contain a large amount of starch, so I'd be able to... So it's been a, been a viable substitute for grain. Some people ate chestnuts instead of rice in ancient times, too. Using it as a substitute for rice is a bit... Chestnuts can also be used as a secondary ingredient in many dishes. Secondary ingredient? Chestnuts have a unique flavor, so by pairing it with meats and our heavy, other heavier ingredients, I can balance out the flavor and add more layers to the dish at the same time. It does seem like a good secondary ingredient. As expected of our little sparrow, she can't tell apart three from four, yet she knows cooking like the back of her hand. Eh, but isn't it a pity to use something as great as chestnuts as mere additives? It's like more people- I'd like more people to understand chestnuts. Hmm, you can just make a dish featuring chestnuts, my dear. Hmm? Huh? Make a dish- That's right, I can just make it myself! A side dish that can bring out the chestnuts flavor but won't steal the show. Vegetables? Hmm, I don't think that fits. Mushrooms? That does seem like it could add more layers. It would seem you have this in the bag. I'm looking forward to your next dish. 
Tianxi stewed mushrooms. Hmm. The Divine Spirit Mausoleum is located in Senkai. So the chestnuts there are said to contain divine energy. I can't really tell the difference, though. Wouldn't it be more practical to stew chestnuts with mushrooms and turn this intangible divine energy into a pot of sweet and savory stew? Alright. Invite. A Sega has a high-level hermit. Okay. Then if you like recluses, solemn sea. Average hermit either. Shop. Sure, the little sparrow shop is rather popular. Alright, she's coming to dinner. That's good. Sorry for the wait. That's a lot of dishes. I don't know what kind of flavors you like, so I made a ton of the same dish. Ha, it's fine. A spirit's appetite is endless. I won't waste even a single scrap of food. Then... Oh, right. Almost forgot. Here's my golden two shroom wrap. Bon appetit. Wow, it looks super delicious. If you like it, I can teach you the recipe once you're finished. Really? Thank you so much. Think nothing of it. Alright, I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna dig in too. A common but delicious delicacy with a balanced mix of meat and vegetables. Two different mushrooms wrapped in carefully selected meat creates a layered flavor for the taste buds. Oh, right. I have to invite you. Why do, uh, uh, you know, say yes. This free spirit doesn't take appointments that depend on where the wind takes me. Okay, that's a no from her. Besides deers and pine trees, what else symbolizes longevity? Many auspicious signs and legends symbolize longevity, such as the elegant and graceful crane. They hath been seen as good omens from, from ancient times and art often connected with longevity amongst other things. Cranes, huh? I don't think that'd make good food. There's also the dragon turtle, a sign of health and longevity since ancient times. Shi Ji, oh god, states a turtle that hath lived for a thousand years grows hair. A five thousand year old tortoise is called a divine turtle, and one older than ten thousand years is called a spirit turtle. What? If eating a two thousand year old deer makes you live two thousand years longer, doesn't that mean you'll live ten thousand years longer if you eat a ten thousand year old spiritual turtle? Tis. Something I have never heard of. Huh. I don't get it. That reminds me. I wonder how old that big turtle behind the shrine is. Hmm. After a human becomes a hermit, is their next goal to become a celestial? I suppose tis the next logical step. But I heard rumors that Miss Miko started training in order to attain even greater power and rule over against Sokyo's humans. Even if the crown prince desired to become a... A ruler, tis out of worry that Gensokyo would collapse if left to its own devices. If all is well, the crown prince would not be involved with humans either, to say nothing of ruling over them. Is that true? It's completely different from the rumors I heard. Tis a lie propagated by the enemy. If the crown prince truly desireth as such, would the resurrection be necessary? Her past life should have been the closest to her to this goal. So what you're saying is in order to increase her life, nay, what the crown prince pursues is not merely a longer life. What she pursues is the truth behind this world. The crown prince, she beginneth her training for her desire to pursue the, tra the truth behind the universe. Hmm, I don't really understand this desire. Spooto, are you coming to dinner? Thine intentions have made itself clear. No, oh, God, she's never accepted me once. What are you doing here, Miss Futo? I have decided to train by fasting, so I sha shout get rid of these ingredients lest they begin to rot. But just throwing them away is such a pity. Yes, tis true. Since thou runs an izakaya, I am sure it will assist thee. If thou does not mind, do help me get rid of them. Got it. I'll put them to good use. She gave me a crab. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, G. I appreciate it. Well, Sega said she's coming. So, that can help. We're opening Myodan Temple. This is the last, uh, last open for the stream. Okay. Alright. Bring in the usual suspects. That's we in the business like to call. Good enough. Alright. Be on your way. Chat, when I'm done eating, 
Sorry, when I'm done streaming, I'm making more of those stuffed chicken breasts. And I am going to eat them. And I am going to enjoy it. That's my plan. As to what happens after that, I don't know. Maybe I pop open the old premiere again. Maybe I don't. We'll have to see. They were really good. They were really, really good. I'm gonna eat the, the rest of the box now. That's what's gonna happen. Sake, sweet food. Whoops. Okay. The next part of the video I have to do I don't know how long that's gonna take. Yesterday I tried to do it while I was like tired. That was a big problem with uh, progress on that one. But I'm not tired right now. I really should have been up earlier than I was. But I didn't want to get out of bed because it was really, really cold. So I just stayed in bed and then it was like 2.30. I was like, God damn it. I was awake and ready to go like three hours ago, but it was too cold. I didn't want to move. That's why I hate winter. Winter is impossible to get out of bed. Japanese mild. <clears throat> hmm. In the winter, it's easy to fall asleep because it's warm under the blanket, but then it's impossible to get up because it's not warm outside of the blanket. But then, in the summertime, it's impossible to sleep in the heat, so you'd have no problem waking up because you never actually got to bed in the first place. Or maybe that's just a me problem. Somehow I think that is a problem that extends universally to all human beings. But what do I know? Sake. Sega's here. It's modern. Uh, what were you getting? The stewed mushrooms. Chestnut mushroom truffle boiling pot. Chestnut mushroom and she wants sweet so here I'll put some honey on it for you okay mm. here you go savory chillable Smoke Buccaneer. Beef, black, salt, chili, honey. Hmm. Beef, chili, black, salt, honey. Uh, just want savory on it as well, so. Sharp. Pretty beverage. Heatable beverage. Can you go home already, Accu? Modern. You too, go home! There's a place with towers everywhere. Ah. Yeah. That means Chinese. Nom, nom, nom. What was I giving you before? Chestnuts, right? Oh, those don't count as Chinese. Uh, this counts as Chinese. Uh, 
Wonderful, small portion, legendary, sweet specialty, vegetarian. Uh, ah, ah, vegetarian. I can make it sweet, wonderful, and specialty. She like filling. She like filling. Oh, sweet, wonderful. Yep. Yep. Okay. Job is done. High alcohol. Meat. Oh, new ace here. Meat, salty, strength, boasting, specialty. Meat, salty, savory, filling. Uh, IQ, go home. Go home. Midnight snacks have small portions. Okay. All right, I'll get to new in a second. It's a cutting board item, right? Yeah. Honey. Chestnut. Legendary. Meat heatable. Okay. Hmm. Four oh three. The hell do you want anyway? Doesn't like Western. Savory meat signature. Strange specialty wonderful photogenic. Aw. Savory meat signature strange specialty. Well, meat savory specialty signature. Yeah, that's everything. So it's that strange and photogenic to it, I guess. Put a nut in it. In a cicada. Western beverage. Scarlet Mist is a hard one to sell. Savory. Savory. Cheese and flour. With an onion. And <laughs> salty filling. Legendary meat. Slightly missed them. When humans see me, they can't stop snapping photos. Shochu. Okay. Strange nut. Lion's head. Shochu. Uh, modern. Small shop serving food from all around the world. Oh god, what was that? Specialty? Just put fucking everything in it that makes it cool and awesome. Because I could afford to do that. <laughs> Ingredients are free! Modern. Good enough. Well, guys, so we'll get in there. All right. 
Humans are the animals that love hunting the most. Wait, so that's not meat? Whoa! Strange, photogenic. Make it wonderful, dude. Just make it wonderful. And milk. Sake. History and culture go hand in hand. Low alcohol. Vintage. Food that surprises you is pretty interesting. That's strange. This game really does show how bad my short-term memory is. <laughs> but it's okay, because at the end of the day, I can solve the problem known as Mystia. Uh, strange. You want strange? I'll give you a strange. Yeah, that'll work. History and culture. Bing, 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 bing. Sake. Hmm. Soda. Home cooking. Home cooking. Uh. Potato. Legendary. Yeah. Soda. New A just like sour food. Cool. Vintage wonder is a feeling of surprise. Okay. See, Sanai's good because she just activates her ability and gives you a bunch of free shit. You can't ask for more than that. And it's like good quality shit too. That's the best part. Wait, Kogas is running out of money. Uh-oh. Stop asking for vintage drinks. You can't afford them. Oh my god. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Take your graham crackers. Soda. Home. Takoyaki. Japanese cuisine. Hmm. Sake. Chillable. You have forty one dollars. Forty one. I have already forgotten what I put in here. You can afford that. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Hmm. Nagatama, that's good. Yomu just likes greasy foods. Gas is that out of money. Yep. Ah. 
Japanese, and soda. Okay. Good last bout. Good last bout. Now we'll check progress. Next time. Oh. Well, that's fine. You can leave now, though. Okay. Alright. I guess we're not leaving yet. Maybe, maybe next time. And I didn't get the one that makes her finish instantly. Okay. Can't imagine eating at this establishment with the, the proprietors breathing down my neck. I'm just too lazy to look at your menu right now to see what you like, so you're just gonna keep getting this until you leave. God. Go home. Here, I'll show you a sweet. Take this huge ass popsicle. No, you know what? Take this. She's consuming it all herself. We don't sell glizzies at this establishment. We don't have a roaster, you know. I don't know, what do you call them? Uh, uh, the glizzy rotator, you know? Do they have like a name or do we just call them, we just call them hot dog spinners? Those things suck, by the way. They're supposed to keep the, the the glizzy warm, but all it does is dry them out, and nobody wants to buy them. They were a terrible investment. Little Kitty tells you Chen has a new upgraded Izakaya. That's great. Whoops, I accidentally turned the volume up. Can't have that in this game. Alright, back to main menu. Well, there you go, chat. That was four and a half hours. Closer to five. Oh, yo, yo. <clears throat> so once again, it was just, you know... Mistia. It was what else can I say? Really, it's, it's Mistia. This is this is like the 18th part to this game, and like every part, almost every part for this game has been like five hours. So, damn. But let's see. So Nue, Nue is gonna take a little work, but the other ones are all about half done. Futo's, I think it's this is gonna be this is definitely gonna be more than one more stream, but. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't really mind how long this takes because I greatly enjoy this game. The DLC is definitely... You can get a substantial amount of playtime to it, for sure. If you choose to do the things you do. But also, at the same time, the requirements for the DLC became actually friendship. Uh, maxing out friendship with everybody. As opposed to DLC 1. So you actually do have to play like that to, get the, to go through the DLC properly. Which I'm more than okay with. I am more than okay with that because I was going to do that anyway. Hello, Jun. You're not in this game. That's a shame. But yeah, more Mistia. Uh, maybe... Probably this week. When? I don't know. Maybe Thursday. Who knows? But I like, uh, I like this game a lot, so... I don't think I'd be satisfied just playing it on Monday and then not for the rest of the week. But when I play it again, I will figure it out. 